Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big right. shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, none. You know my dad walk on. Man, look out, man. They got us way down here, man. We done, we done stumbled up on something, man. Something that I've been wanting to do, man. To deal with this guy right here, man. I've been seeing him. I've seen him on various different shows, man. I've seen him on 85 South. Mm-hmm. I've seen him on a lot of different shows, but I, but the movement is more stronger than anything else, man, right. for our people in the culture, man. Fred Hampton Jr. is in the building. Live and direct, man. It's good to be here. <laughs> you know, I can't that the end your intro song. Now when I hear it after seeing the interview with uh, what's this, uh Cecilia CC, mm-hmm. I think about her until I hear your intro song. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we got that yeah, intro song, man. Yeah. Shout out to XO, man. Yeah, XO yeah. music, young girl out of Texas, right man. Right on, right on. So right man, on, we down here right in Chicago, on. man, and um, like I said, we uh, we definitely uh, we had to do this. Me and you, we talked several yeah, times. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Melvin Farmer, man, because he was one of those yeah. guys that he kept telling me, "You got to do Fred, man. You got to yeah, do Fred yeah. Jr., man." Yeah. I'm like, "I'm gonna get him, man. I'm gonna get him." But yes, I was, indeed. we gotta get you to Dallas. We already talked about looking that. Looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to it. So what we do, man, we do it a little different than others, man. We want we want to go back. Right. We want to go back to your childhood. We want to talk about. The man, you know what I'm saying? The, the yeah. kid, the, the, the who, who is Fred Hampton Jr.? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How you were raised, where you were raised, how you were trained, the mm-hmm. whole works. Well, first, first and foremost, you know, I'm honored and humbled, humbled to be here. Um, I've said on a number of occasions, I've, I feel fortunate, fortunate to have fallen from a tree of two freedom fighters. Right. That of uh, Chairman Fred Hampton and also of Akua and Jerry, formerly known as Deborah, known as Deborah Johnson. Uh, Chairman Fred was deputy chairman for the state of Illinois of the Black Panther Party. In, uh, in fact, he led the largest chapter of the Black Panther Party. Uh, he was assassinated. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go straight to that. Or, cause I, I, I think I'll be remiss. Like, cause I, I just did this piece um, on African ancestry uh, two nights ago. Oh, okay. And they, you know, lineage, they had checked up, went back to the lineage. And, um, How far back did you go? They went back, they went back my, on my maternal side. Uh, they traced it back to uh, Niger, which is like right up uh, on the northern tip of Nigeria, but it's, mm-hmm. not, it's not Nigeria, Niger. Niger. Mm-hmm. Um, and my, they, uh, uh, with the paternal, my, from my father's side, mm-hmm. Gabon, and, um, it's West Africa. And they was talking about how, you know, how, how rare it is like, to be able to trace a lineage, it's in particular with the paternal side. And you know, continues with, with, the, with the African, because uh, you know, taking into account with us being colonized and, you know, the plunder and the rape in particular that, you know, that happened in regards to our people. Uh, I think it's imperative, uh, so I'm, I'm doing some study on that also. So I'm saying, I'm going around the block to get to, get to the heart of the question is, I think it's imperative that, you know, we know from whence we come from. You know where you come from before you people, know people you have, are. Exactly, people have a reactionary assessment. Right. say, who are you? And people like, they just came out of a vacuum. So I'm such and such, you know, I'm, okay, I'm Chairman Free, I have to join you, bam. You know, no, no, I think it's, you know, you know, you know it's imperative that like, once we come from. Uh, I, was, I made a comment to somebody the other day, we here at the Hampton House. We have we have a, a particular breed of dogs known as the Hampton House Hounds, and this uh, is um, cross breed of the uh, German Rottweiler and the Cane Corsa. Brother, come take a, take some puppies out. He kept on grilling me in regards to the Rottweiler. What's the are they German or they American? And I you know gave him the whole bloodline. And I asked him, I said, How's your children's grandparents doing? He said, I never met them. I said, that, Wow, we don't you don't, don't, don't you know our lineage? You know what I'm saying? So I just want to give you a little back. You know, the dog that. in Lenny is better than you know your own no people. It. That's no that's, that's wild. It. No doubt about that's it. That's wild. No doubt about it. I, I definitely want to, uh, okay. I'm going to mess with you a little bit. I want to talk about the time when you was young. You were sitting on Sam's stoop. You know what I'm saying? You you you, you was a, a kid. You know, you were dealing with Maurice and Pooh and Carlos, you know? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Did that. <laughs> okay, did <dig> that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa, you went way back. Okay. That's where I'm trying to go with it. Okay. I'm just going to let you in on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because he was, what, 12 at that time? Yeah, he was very young. Yeah. 11, 11, 12. Yeah, we're wow. going all the way back wow. to him, man. <laughs> okay, now I got to I gotta turn the table. Yo, we know the interview, man. Dig <laughs> that. Dig that. No, I just wow. wanted to hit you with something. Because yeah. everybody interview, but it, it takes something special to go yeah. the extra mile. To yeah. try to figure out something to where we're going to take our interview somewhere yeah. that yours ain't yeah. never been before. Yeah. You know? 
and it, 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 inside the brain, it's a lot, you know, memories and stuff that I'm, you know, subconsciously blocked out. But okay, you yeah, you struck some memory, some memory, uh, some um, flashbacks. Yeah, because yeah. it was just a thing where when we were talking to others about you, it was like you were one at a very young age with big responsibilities at a young age right. where you might have yeah. had to pull up when everybody else was having a good time and somebody said well hey uh hey chairman fred hampton jr you know we got to go do this and yeah. you you have to leave your friends at a yeah. very young age so i just wanted to talk about some of those key elements how to balance being you know how, that responsible child yeah. compared to okay when i'm with my friends i'm i need to enjoy my youth and my you know what i mean and my freedom where that is concerned but Situations that, that may be seen as, um, I guess, um, apolitical as getting uh, ice cream from ice cream truck. I recall, like you just took some memories. I recall, like even as a youngster, like even when the, when the, when the ice when the, uh, ice cream truck comes down the street, you know, you know, you know the usual routine. Mm -hmm. Everybody come around, night, you know, mm -hmm. I, you know, I go ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. And um, but I always had to make sure there wasn't uh, a good humor ice cream truck. Okay. This is doing part to. Um, it was ingrained in us, you know what I'm saying? I mean, me in particular, you know what I'm saying? And me, uh, my counterparts, but I remember this in particular, uh, being the fact that one of the, one of the cases that Chairman Fred was framed up with was the, was the Good You My Ice Cream Truck Correct. case. Correct. And which actually, literally, where we, we doing this, where we doing this interview at, the case occurred walking distance right here on this corner. Okay. In which they had claimed that, um, the state had claimed that Chairman Fred had took $71, $71 worth of right ice cream. Right on, okay, right on. Ice cream from the, and gave it to the children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That and, was uh, so ridiculous. Yeah. And he, he, he flipped it. He said, okay, he made, they tried to be out of thief. He made me to be a Robin Hood type of thief. Mm -hmm. Still showing the true nature of a path to give it to the people. Correct. So that trickled down to even as a child. Some of you may think as some of this minute is, okay, man, everybody get ice cream. But that, even that dynamic, you know, and then I even, that's like, uh, I remember, you know, you know, some, you know, cutting school, we going. Yeah. And um, I recall situations we walking, we walking, and most of mother youth, and just simple things like giving an alias name. And other, you know, other youth like, you know, why you just give me your name? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, y'all you don't know how, how this go with me. And I remember one time, this, I think, this round, I guess I'm 17. I'm, I'm going back and forth from, you know, age. That's right. Okay, no life. problem. And his brother, and I, I, I crack on to this day about this. His brother, we in the car, we riding, we, we riding on, on the west side. And I kept looking through the rear view mirror. He said, man, he said, man, you got your license. What you, you, say, you, you legit, ain't you? What you, what you keep looking? I said, exactly. That's why I keep looking back. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, that's I, right. I got the license. And it's something to um, be conscious of certain things, you know what I'm saying, be aware. But to be, you know, it impacts everything, you know what I'm saying, from, you know, in school, relationships, you know what I'm saying, the ability to communi communicate, not being able to, to, to lay out in a, in a, in a, a, a a climb up is, is um, you know, it's dismissive paranoia or something like that. I mean, a lot of young cats you say, man, he think he back in the sixties, you know what I'm saying? And I, but I was deprived, like many others, deprived of that correct, you know, saying that the uh, right. uh, summation. What happened to the Black Power Movement in the sixties? Kind of like my, my mother, my mother comrade said about Tupac. You know, she's, you know, she said Park needed organization. Yeah, and organization needed Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to you know play money more than uh, quarterback and look back in retrospect and say, you know, because I be, you know, man, Park should have done this, Park. Should've. But the, 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 the different dynamics, you know, what I'm saying of who he was, you know, I mean, you know, the feds, you know, surround, watched him as a child, and then to be in the arena, and people say, well, why would he, you know, saying do this, would do this in the arenas. You can't, you can't make an assessment like you know, detached from you know uh, the generation you're in. Like you know, I said this one time. I think it was an interview. It was on a phone conference, and you know, I, I said some uh, the iced tea. I say, I disagree with a lot of things. That's what, that's what, so one interview I think it was on Arsenio Hall, and uh, they had showed a picture of Ice T, uh, and everybody in the audience started laughing, and I dug his response. He, he said, he said, okay, what was y'all wearing around that time when y'all came to see me? And everybody right. got quiet. You know what I'm saying? So to put things in context, you know what I'm saying? Correct. You know, so so to grow up, you know, you know, conscious of certain things about the Panther Party, but but deprived of people to relate to it, the condition, you know, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like right now, this is the stage in the game we are now. You know, it's, it's not. You said, you know, police killed uh, Le James. Mm -hmm. People they they relate to it like correct you know, as opposed to years back. I mean, police ain't just ain't killed nobody. Like, correct. They, they didn't anybody. talk about it or, as or, much. Or, or what did you do? Yeah, or what did you, 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 you do? They don't see the type of reaction they respond. Now, now, you know what I'm saying? They had done such a job because not only after the military defeated the Black Panther Party. Now, I stress military defeat. 
because ideologically, the Panther Party won. In other words, you can go to people to this day, they're they, they, they going through struggles, demoralized, still a love and admiration for the Panther Party, but it was a military defeat. And they, after the military defeat, they rose up, you know, for all practical purposes, uh, run to the litter. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they co opted, you know what I'm saying? They, they brought out certain movies, you know what I'm saying? And they, they salted the earth. It's kind of like, you know, when they, when, they, when they hit our rock and hit other places, they, they wipe out the go getters, you know what I'm saying? And raise this, this different spokesperson. And so, what that comes is another generation who's reactionary. They, they can't relate to it. Of course, you have some few forces that can relate to it, you know what I'm saying? They say, I, I know what happened then. But you still got like a soul thumb. Well, you know, you, he, he had brought up Tupac. I want to talk about that for a second. I'm a big Tupac fan. I know his mom was uh, affiliated with the Panthers. You know, uh, yesterday he turned 51. If he was still living, he'd been turning 51. Um, it's just uh, something else when you look at the entertainers and how they pretty much, like I said, uh, they are some of the pinnacles of kind of how things are gauged in today's society yeah. and today's time. So it's just something for you to bring that guy up and uh, he being a, a big influence on the culture that we're in today, okay. you know? So okay. I think that's dope. What were you about to say? When I think about what you're saying, I think about how you were, your eyes was open at a young age because mm -hmm. you were being taught about a lot of things that people take for granted. A lot of children at your age did, was not aware of. Mm -hmm. So the way in which you had to react to certain things just like you were talking about the ice cream truck and you had to check out certain things before mm. you were able to you know when all the kids would run up to it yeah some kids would look at you like you're crazy but really a lot of other kids or a lot of people were really just lacking knowledge of w their surroundings when you had all of that knowledge so you couldn't just Frivolous, frivolously do things mm. you see what i mean you had to take a lot of things into consideration before you move Knowledge, knowledge, and um, and a certain you know uh, uh, experiences too. You know, um, I, 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 I want to stress that too. Cause a lot of times we we talk about knowledge. People say, "Well, I read this book, so on and so forth." Uh, also, like to mention, to mention to my, uh, Park. I think Park had said something to the effect also that, like, even who he is, he have to acknowledge his adversaries also mm -hmm. who helped make him. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say for record, you know, his mother, she wasn't just affiliate, she's a member of the Black Panther Party. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, right. yeah, for sure. And um, that dynamic of um, experiences, you know what I'm saying, um, in fact, the Panther Party position was that people learn through best through observation and participation. And I got to acknowledge my adversaries in certain situations and conditions that help mold me to be clear, like, man, hold, yeah. this is who you are, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not just... Not to romanticize it, not seeing some abstract, you know, way. Oh, this, you know, this the Black Panther, you know, it's like a lot of people see uh, leather jackets, but Ray, but the 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 the, um, the heat that comes with it, you know, what I'm saying, the, the, um, I, you know, I, I, we have a saying that a lot of people are black when it's beneficial, play Panther when it's profitable, wow. and connect the Cubs when it's comfortable. The deal is, I can't opt out. Say, okay, I'm just, I'm just playing. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, say, you know, pop up when it's Black History Month. Throw a leather jacket and a beret on. You know what I'm saying? We do, during the times that you know, growing up, no, no heat in the house, the gas cut off. You know, being suspended from school. You know what I'm saying? Being in a police station. You know, uh, I think it was seventh, uh, seventh district. I know 61st in Racine. Seven, eight youngsters, same last name, Hampton. And they, you know, try to figure out which one is, you know, mm -hmm. related to D, Chandler yeah. Hampton. Yeah. You know, nobody's saying nothing. This, is, I said, this ain't like the price is right. This ain't, come on, come on, everybody quiet. And they go get that photograph. And they put that photograph and put it to you. He said, this, this the one. So that helped me right. who I am. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. appreciate How that. How old were you when um, your mother, because I'm assuming it was your mother who first told you about what happened with your father and, and so forth and the whole situation? How old were you? Far, far, I mean, as far as you can it's, remember, it's, it's, it's intertwined. It wasn't like okay, we're gonna stop and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell you, you know, um, right. you know who your father was. I'm it's like it's second nature. Like you know, it's the different dynamics. Like you know, even you know, referencing them as you know, uh, Chairman Free and I. I met brothers later on in my life. They they reminded me on how second nature it was to me. They reminded me when we watched the VHS tapes. You know, the Panther Party, and uh, if anybody laughed about the clothes they wore, we 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 get into fisticuffs. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? We, we, we get into it. And just the terms, and just um, you know, um, going, going around, um, going around certain dynamics, um, and hearing certain conversations, and coming to contact, li like listening to, uh, I know it's, uh, this generation ain't got it now, but the older cats around the steel garbage cans, burning the wood, the fire, you know, staying warm, listen to those war stories, you know. But uh, she always, I mean, again, it was you know, what I'm saying? it was it was like second nature, and I certain things I. 
I guess you, I, you know, I, I was just speaking to a brother today about Malcolm, Malcolm X. I said, you know, you know, both his parents were Garveyites. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Certain things were laid down to him. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's, it's certain periods of life, certain things hit you. It's later on in life, you you, you can grasp it. Um, James Amos, who, who played uh, portrayed James Evans in Good Times, his parents, his grandparents' home in Gary, Indiana, Indiana that was a they, it was a stopover, a layover for the Garveyites. Okay. So you you know what I'm saying? So it's certain like pictures. Like even I, I just came back from Africa, first time in my life. How was that? Oh, phenomenal! I still I still I, don't, I still have not landed back. I'm still <laughs> you know I'm still homesick. You know, and just um, for, for, you know, for the homeland, and just what's the thing that stood out to you the most when you went? If I would have to, uh, mm. or is there a misconception that you know? Because whenever you visit a country for the first time and you're you living somewhere else, people always say, "Oh, in Africa, everybody's walking around half naked," or in Africa, such and such. And when you went, you're like, "It's not like that." What misconception did you really see? It's because uh, I, I always, like I guess, you know, I was, I w I noticed in my mother's home, you know, I noticed pictures that have been there. I'm cracking on her now because she, she, <laughs> they, they've been there since I was a youngster. She ain't took me on it's pictures of Africa. It's you know what I'm saying it's stuff I took for granted that you know one brother who uh, I grew up with, he came he came in the house recently. He said, "Man, y'all these books been here all the time." I said, yeah, he said, "Oh, we outside. You got these books up in here, you know." He said, "No one." You say, "Man, you know certain things," but it's even the term. So I, I wasn't um, unfortunate to give and be given, you know, uh, to be bombarded with all you know. The, uh, the, I, just, I heard it, but I, I, I was I was fortunate. To have that balance, you know what I'm saying, in regards to, you know, why, where we come from in the history mm -hmm. of Africa, you know, and um, so, but uh, I, 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 I've been, I've heard people, you know what I'm saying, who still, they can sell a Tarzan movie today, they can, they can, they can, it was a private day running and people will go for it, you know what I'm saying, so I, I, I relate to what you're saying, like how the, the stereotypes, so on and so forth, and uh, but I, when I got that, I'm going to have to connect. With so you the, already knew what uh, to expect. Yeah, so, yeah. So. But I knew but didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to, to see it. You know what I'm saying? To get right. there and the feeling, you know, you know, see our people with the similar, you know, features and um, be able to, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing I tell people with, the, with, the, with, this, with this path of politics, you know, you I, 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 we have a chapter in Brazil. You can go there and you can pick up in two seconds. I can go different locations. Different, see, that's our people right there. Right, um, right. Uh, Ferguson, uh, we call Mike Brown Town. Mm -hmm. When we first got there, it was some different, we call softball, softball cats. You know, mm -hmm. I said, no, no, they ain't that. Yeah. yeah, I see some other cats. I say, that's us. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the cats we connect to. Right. So that's, to know who you are, you know, how they say, water seeks its own level. It's certain, you know, certain places you cats go say, oh, no, this cat, no, no, they, they, they pose to be with them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's, you know, and that's, that's what our community, we need, we have to struggle to acknowledge that structure. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to this idealism that we all, I think black people in particular, we speak we speak French too much at the wrong times. Yeah. We were Maybe. robbed a lot of that because um, a lot of people who do that d um, ancestry DNA and all of that and yeah. figure out like what tribe you're from and so forth, whenever you do get the opportunity to go or meet people from that um, that group, you realize that the bone structures are, the si are very similar. The way yeah. how you look is very similar, but people here don't realize that because they've never had that chance to actually go or to do that to figure out where they're from. We, been, we, 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 we have and we remain under attack. I'm like, you know, everything from, you know, like I, t I remember, I recall when I was growing up, it was common for us. I remember, I remember packing our clothes right here, literally right here in this house. You know, we get ready to go down, go down south. You know, what I'm saying, my, you know, my grandparents. I, I, I remember that. You know, religiously going, getting dropped up here. We going down south, going down. Uh, I, remember, I remember, I'm getting, I'm getting hit up by the, um, the chicken pot mosquitoes. All oh, they hit me up. You know, what I'm saying. What part of south? Uh, um, Street Haynesville, Louisiana. Okay. In fact, we go there. We on our way down there for Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you spoke about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, and uh, that's where Chairman Fred. That's where he's buried at. Haynesville, yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, correct. And I remember a case. Some years, not too far, not too long ago, long ago, a uh, sister was murdered. Her last name was Hampton, and I was talking to the family members. I was like, you know, what, you know, what part, of, what part, of, what part of South y'all from? And she, she, she couldn't relate. She like, huh? And, I said, mm. and then, then even asked her, her parents. And I said, they did and that's right. how they were like. And you have right. to take into account the gentrification, you know, the land grab. Right. And because one of America's policies is to create chaos and then restore order. Create chaos, then mm -hmm. restore order. You know what I'm saying? 
They stay with all all structure. You know what I'm saying? Like it's an old saying. You know, saying uh, old African saying, "God created Africans, and America made niggas." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And we add on to that that the man is the machine manufactured Chirac. You know what I'm saying? This was a city of structure. Yeah, and it's been destabilized. So it's not that we just don't know certain things. You know what I'm saying? We're, like you, you, know, you, I used to be a walk on my block. Where I grew up at blindfolded. You, you mentioned some names just now. I clicked right back in. I yeah, say, man. I, I, they parents, they last That's names, right. all them cats. You know what I'm saying? Pui, man, we, we, you know what I'm saying? It, man, Sam, Dwight is a whole now. Shh, I, man, you can't. Man, every day is switching up. Let me ask you this, like. Um, you know, after your, your your dad was helping with the breakfasts and for the kids and everything, some of those people that he uh, fed during that time, when you got old enough, those people would have still been around. Did they kind of tell you, hey, man, your dad, you know, did, was it some memorable moments that people came back to you about as you grew up as a youth? I constantly, I, I, can, I constantly come into contact. I'm just, I'm on cloud thousand right now from a situation. I just talk, I just called up, um, the director of the movie Judas and Black Messiah and I was putting him on the phone with a brother who I was talking to yesterday. We have free, the free clothes and the free food program. You know what I'm saying? It's going on uh, right here at the community refrigerator. Yes, I right. seen it. I see it outside. Brother dropped some clothes off yesterday I'm talking to him. I said, man, um, he said, you look familiar. I said, yeah. He said, uh, I said, uh, need some help getting the clothes out? He said, no, I got it. I said, what's your name, brother? He said, uh, Lafayette. I said, like Louisiana, he said, he said, what you know about that? I said, I know about all that, man. You know, <laughs> Monroe, Louis, all that. So yes, sir. Uh, he said, man, you know I knew uh, Fred. I said, yeah, he said, we grew up together. I said, dig that. He said, man, you, he said, you look familiar, though, man. <laughs> I said, he said, yeah. He said, man. He said, man, he said, his aura, man. He said, his confidence, his humbleness. How he would walk up in the, he said, he came up in this pool hall. He, he had this coat. He said, he, he, I see, he took the bucket hat. He said, yeah, yeah, the bucket mm -hmm. hat. Walk in the pool hall, man. He say, man, this before he was a Panther. He said, man, how he, how he commanded. He, he say, it was it was like how he did it, the aura, how he moved around. You know what I'm saying? Just, we walk in, the, the people the people related to him, and his humbleness, man. He say, man, it was something else. He say, um, I mean, he say he had this lady. He say, the brother told me he had to go visit this lady. But the area he was going in, these, these white boys kind of out of He say, Jim Fred, he say, he made sure I was straight to get over there. You know what I'm saying? Wow. He, he made sure I, I was protected. You know yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And constantly, the other day, the other day, the other day, I'm still, I'm still, in, um, I was just uh, talking to a delegation of people from Chile, mm -hmm. uh, Puerto Rico, and some other uh, other parts of the country. And my friends, um, talking about this documentary about the release about the uprisings in Chile, mm -hmm. uh, this, or this group, Rebel Diaz, and some others. So, some former Puerto Rican political prisoners, they in town. I don't know if y'all remember this case. It was a big case with uh, Hillary Clinton. Uh, I think she was Secretary of State then. Um, they was talking about doing these pardons, and they come and try and get these um, conditions mm -hmm. to the prisoners. Well, you, if you, you get locked back I up. Think I heard, it's a big yeah. thing about yeah. these. I, I was, I was, I was locked up myself when this was happening. Yeah. And they, and they fought. They still pray. It was fought. You know, and these courageous cats, Louis Rosa, and some other, you know, some other, it's cat Oscar Lopez Rivera. And these, both of these cats in particular, they physically, they're real short. They, they, they short, they, physically speaking. Mm -hmm. So um, we uh, talking to the, the, the delegation. So I, I, my first, I, I know Lou Rose from years back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I see uh, Oscar Lopez Revere is my first time seeing him. He couldn't even contain himself. Wow. He couldn't even contain himself. He said, he's, you know, the man, he was this, 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 this stories about him to this day in the prisons. You know, to man, when he come through, and to the respect they have for him. He said, he said, let me compose myself. He said, uh, man, he said, Chairman Freeze, I ain't never seen nothing like it. He said, since, a bit before, he said, it's a place to, uh, I think the Randolph Food Market or something. He said, they got all this food they got. He said, man, I'm watching him from a distance, how he came down there. How he said, I'm watching the whole process, him getting that food. To go send to be given, you know, sent to the party and to the people, give it to the people. He said, I was, he said, I watch it go from no, no, they won't give nothing to how Chairman Fred got that food to get to the people. He said, I remember one time it was some place here. He says, he young, he says, these white dudes. I said, young patrons. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, man, all these cats coming through. Um, uh, the Puerto Ricans say, he said, man, you get man, uh, stone disciples, black kids. All. He said, how he, the humbleness, how he organized. He said, talking to him. He said, then, he said, right there was a building. The police, the feds, he said, there was a feds building. He said, and they came outside. He said, 
the way they looked at him, he said simultaneously him and some other guys said, I mean, unrehearsed. He said, they gonna kill him. Mm. Wow. He said, they gonna kill him. I, man, it's, it's tough. Like, your, your dad did a lot of different things, man. He was in the NAACP. Junior, junior NAACP. And junior, did any of those people ever reach out to you after that or to speak with you, you know, any of the members that was around? This is now an uh, era where we, um, like, hiding the contradictions, where, you know what I'm saying, for the conversation to even happen. Yes. Because mind you, the way that they assassinated Chairman Fred, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was a strategic, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was, it was, a, it was done in a way to send terror to terrify the masses and, and horror to horrify the masses. Yeah. Don't speak about him, you know what I'm saying? And, and when we say those terms, people say, well, what's the big deal? In fact, I just had a, everybody talking about this, like a big, like a, a hour intense dialogue with Buster Rhymes the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, we, we was, you know, I was, I was struggling about the, you know, the stressing how we are about the terms and words, you know, and the titles and all that, you know, you know. And we was having this dialogue, and uh, he said something, he said, he said, man, you be so passionate about it, you know. You, For you, sure. I say, man, I know not to sound sacrilegious, but revolution is my religion, you know. That's real. And, People, the deal is back to the question, the question at hand. Uh, we we can't cut off December the fourth, nineteen sixty nine, and just say, okay, the government assassinated Chairman Fred, defense got the Mar Clark. You got to tie in also what else went down. Correct. December the fifth. What happened December the fifth, nineteen sixty nine? Law enforcement came through here in particular. They would in particular went through other areas. That, they pulled black men, black boys out in front of their houses, in front of their wives and children, make, make sure they saw this. And they told me there'd never be another Fred Hampton out here again. Wow. Similar to the era doing chattel slavery, a pregnant sister ran away. They just didn't go kill her. They went and brought her back, slid her stomach open, stumped the fetus to death. This terrified generations. It's a brother, it's a brother, Liz and This is in 69. This, when they, this, when they brought, brought, this is when they brought the, um, uh, the, the men and boys are, but are we correlating to they do it doing chattel slavery correct you know what I'm saying and not just doing chattel slavery again I was talking to some, these, these guys from Chile and they were talking about the whole I think it was on the Pinochet's chase regime how they would slip stump they would take babies from uh, the women who of the colonized community and they would give the babies to the ruling class and they would raise them as they, their own and children, their own children. So this, 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 this is a, colon a tactic of the colonialists mm -hmm. this is a historical tactic so one brother was at the movie theater watching the uh, movie Judas and the Black Messiah and he had said something to the fact he was telling his he was with his father, his mother, uh, his wife and children, and he was telling them what's going, you know, what's happening. He said, "Oh, watch this, watch what's going to happen now." In the, in the movie, his father said, how, "How you know? How you know something about all this?" You know, he said, "I talked to his son, the chairman." He said, "Dad, why didn't I know? Why hadn't we had this discussion?" He says, "Father, crying. Says son, we just want the peace." Wow, real talk. Mm -hmm. Breaking the process. Yeah, yeah. I, when you think about this, thank you for letting us come in and uh, uh, you know sit down with you here. Um, you grew up, you know, uh, a lot of times in this house. Um, what memories, like, what's some of the fonder memories that you have of just? Is this this is the actual location, right? That uh, was this the one the house where your father was killed? Or mm. It wasn't down. They, they tore oh, that one oh, down. Oh, didn't no, no, no. They, they, they tore that actual building, building down. down. But I definitely want to take y'all by there. Okay. okay. That's uh, and uh, that's the site we call that Ground Zero. Okay. We call that Ground Zero. That's the day two of our twin towers, quote Correct. unquote, fell. 20, 21 year old Chairman Fred, and 22 year old defense got a mark clock, December the fourth, nineteen sixty nine, West Side of Chicago. This is the house he grew up in. He grew up here. He grew up in. And and so and, and you could the energy, the the feel of this house. You know, I was embracing all that as we were setting up, man, and just the 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 fact of you know just having that that you still have that. You know what I mean? I, I know I, I you can't never break wipe away what happened for sure and you don't want to because our people have to this is our foundation yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and I like I said I appreciate you for letting us come in here and sit down with you me and my wife yeah, man, okay. and Boss Talk 101 man just want to say that first of all but well, um, my daughter did a, a article on you gonna see it my, my, right my, I got a 16 year old daughter so you right yeah she right went on. down through that on you and your father so. wow <laughs> right on right on she's straight she's A's a child on, 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 uh, on the I'm gonna say she's, you know? <laughs> she's straight A's too now, I, I right. look back at all this stuff right. See, that's what I was looking at a while ago. I was right looking on. at her report. I'm like, man, it's going right to be on. nice, man. Right on. But I just appreciate you, man. We came down here to Chicago. This is what we came for. Man, we came man, down man. here to interview you. And, and 
I think that was this is a pinnacle moment for the channel. You know, mm -hmm. we started a year ago, and and like I said, I, I just feel like, you know, certain things we have to do yes. in order for people to believe in Appreciate us, it. believe in the channel, so we can help people. That's what these microphones yeah. are for. That's what these podcasts are for, just yeah. so that we can get the right people on here, so that people can hear the right message, yes. and there can be a change in our culture and our people, yeah. because we and need bring that awareness. Help. Yeah, bring very much bring awareness. You, I, I, well, I, well, I appreciate y'all for being here. And because reality is, you know, this 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 ain't this is not, this is not a um, a safe subject. Right. This is not, you know, what I'm saying. In fact, you know, I refer to us, the Black Panther Party, because one of our matches, uh, we say we the last call for alcohol. In other words, we the ones people relate to after they exhaust all remedies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, we tried this, we tried that. You know, like say back in the '60s, we tried Democratic Party, tried the Republican Party. Who was that? That's the Black Panther Party. That's who's been uh, that's who been serving you all the time. Say last call back call. Who was that lady with all them scars and bars? Don't look so good. That's the one. That's the servants of the people. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got the you know, the, the, the the great you know uh, or the, 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 the system ain't gonna get you. Say oh here she go. We got the scars and bars of servants of the people. You know what I'm saying? And people relate to us at different times. A reporter asked me one time, how many, how many members do you have in your organization? I said, well, I tell you. Many to count. I said, it depends on how many people the police have killed. Wow. Real talk. Yeah. People get involved in struggle one of three ways inspiration, aspiration, or desperation. You know, this tag team was intertwined with, in, in, uh, with just about the house. I'm constantly feeling, I'm constantly learning. I see this sometimes, you know, we, we and some of the comrades, we had a trip, we had the door, the door shut. Like, did you, did you close the door? Like, man, the chairman, you know, the, the energy, the, right. you know what I'm saying, the energy. I flat this door, the swinging door right here. I recall as a child, my grandmother. Y'all start running back and forth through that, through that, was through that door. And this, um, I remember that brown corduroy uh, blazer, the, the chairman, when it's because when he wore it. Mm -hmm. we, I, remember, I remember us finding that. I remember us putting it in my mother's hand. It's right here. It's, you know, wow. for her to touch it again. You know, and uh, though it's been in, in, uh, tweaked and embellished. This table, you know, this one, the, the club logo on there, but this yeah. table been there. Uh, one brother sat right here. How long has this table been here? This table been here since I was a child, but not, but not, not with the club logo. Oh, okay, we put the club logo on, okay. yeah, yeah. And we uh, we said the Sons of Anarchy ain't got nothing on the Cubs, uh, <laughs> you know. I know, this is amazing. Right on, right on. Yes, yeah, so wow. this, this, a, lot of, a lot of struggles that happened here, a lot of decisions. And this is what mm -hmm. my daughter wrote this. I, I'll be reading. She said, in light of, the Fred Ham in light of Fred's family, uh, has helped with the new movie Judas. She's talking about the movie Judas and the Black Messiah, mm. which has increased the attention brought to the story of the Chairman Fred Hampton, Fred's son, mm. Fred Hampton Jr. It also heavily influenced and in, 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 in immersed civil activists. He says that the same struggle his father fought against are still plaguing the black community today. The core of the attacks of our people are still here. Uh, Hampton Jr., told ABC News Nightline. Mm -hmm. It made tweak in the tactics. So we said on, said the only logical response is that we continue moving forward with advancing the struggle of self determination. So she she's writing. She you know she sent me something. Man, to, right on. <laughs> tell her babe. Tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her salute. Right on. She is just, right she's, on. Just, she's young and she's yeah. you know learning this history and right I, I thought that was just great. Well, that's, especially in this stage in the game. You know, again, you know, this is not a, a, a subject that people, you know, saying run to, but in particular, the youth. I mean, man, we, the Panther Party said, we say today, we fighting for the minds and hearts of the people, mm -hmm. and it's a battle. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a battle. You know, I mean, just you know, um, people have a, um, a elementary or reactionary assessment of revolution. They think it's just, you know, man, you know, man, get the, man, get this, get the guns, get the parades, so on and so forth. You know, but the, the, again. Uh, it's coming out to take of Otter said, you know, um, that producing um, the new man, I'm going to paraphrase, new man, new woman, you know, the, the, the Clinton, Minister U.E.P. News said the cleansing process, you know, so, uh, when the slave overthrows an oppressor, slave, when the slave overthrows a slave master, an oppressor is gone, a new man is born, I'm paraphrase that to a new man, new woman. But the dynamics of being, a lot of people don't, they are forced to relate to with the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Um, this kind of goes back to something this touches this and mm -hmm. the house I'm going to say we um, I got a call let me 85 South DC Fly yeah yeah DC Young Fly I know DC Young Fly shout out yeah shout out you know, 
He there's he has my in fact that's who has my vest right now. My, my, oh yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, 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 yeah. That's who has my he at the Airy well, before I tell that story, I'm telling you, he was performing and you them youngsters was y'all know, know you know, they, 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 they was packed, it was cold. Right. Oh yeah. They was lined up. He called, he said, Man, I'm not coming through Chicago chairman without touching down, man. We 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 yet, you know, so man, they come on to the Hampton House. We go down there, we ride, it comes he come to the Hampton House. It's about two, three in the morning. I take him back, I show him the the, the bed frame. That Chairman Fred, this this is actually Chairman Fred's bed. Hmm. The, 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 the frame. I said, that's, that's, that's the Chairman's bed. I got he he got he said, man, look. He said, you, I said, oh, I didn't plan that. The sweater they gave me from eighty five South was laying right there on the bed. I said, man, it just happened to be there. Wow. Then he come out and he grabbed his dirt from the, you know what I'm saying uh, from from the front from the front. And then the last time he came through, you know, man, shout out to the whole to the whole crew, 85 South. Yes, man, they, I mean, shout always, out. man, I love all them cats. They was, um, I was telling them about the time when Richard Comedic James Richard Pryor, who was impacted by the Panther Party, when he acknowledged Minister, Minister U. E. P. Newman for the stage. Next day, DC Young Fly, man, on the stage, he said, man, I'm at play. He said, man, he quoted pieces of parts of the movie, Daniel Kaluuya's role in, in the movie. And he said, man, the Black Panther Party Club thing, he said, I'm, he said, I'm thinking I'm. This December 1979, December 20, uh, 29th. That, that's the day the Minister U. E. P. Newton. I mean, the Richard Pryor brought Minister U. E. P. Newton now. He brought man, he brought me on the stage. It, I mean, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It correlated. Mm. So we got to be innovative to get this information because right. everybody we're not fortunate to have a whole bunch of people youngsters going to be saying, "Let me write about this." Right. right. So we got to got to figure out them. how to how to make them get interested in the information so they can retain it. That's fine for power, right on. Minister mm -hmm. people say power. Well, power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in desired manner. Mm -hmm. Power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in desired manner. Reverend Nat Turner put his ear to the ground. He said, "Oh, the church is phenomenal." Praise the Lord, past ammunition. Harriet Tubman said, oh, the Negro spirit is phenomenal. Way in the water, meet me down by the water when the sun go down. Chairman Fred said, oh, the organizational question, the street organization question, is phenomenal in this city. You know what I'm saying? He defined it and made it work in the interest of the people. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta see, we gotta study the people, say what's, you know, what's phenomenal? And what is phenomenal? Phenomenon is an unusual event that can be scientifically explained. Mm -hmm. so what the system does to us is they incorrectly define phenomenon, whether it be hip hop, Street organizations, whatever, and they make it work in the disinterest of us. We have to define it and make it work in the interest of the people. I, uh, but uh, hold on, but yeah. um, even there's another fun fact that she had in her article that um, she was so tickled over finding. But I think she said it was your um, father's mother who babysat Emmett Till. It's um, we just talking about this. It's it's it's, 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 it's something. Like, you know, the uh, connections uh, in fact the brother yesterday I was talking to he was just talking about he said you gotta talk to this other brother in Argo that's not a Teal family's at right now right another uh, you know like side, suburb, west suburb Argo, Illinois and my grandma uh, this is my grandparent was my grandparent was my grandparent's home right. my grandmother who babysit in Teal and us now that's the connection on my and it was your father's mother or my father's it? mother okay, so that's the connection sure. on, my, on, my, on my paternal side right now they just made Emmett Till's house in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, historical landmark. Okay. On 65th and St. Lawrence. Okay. My maternal grandmother, my mother's mother, mm -hmm. stayed on 64th and St. Lawrence. Mm, right around the corner. Yeah. Man. yeah. Do me a favor, man. Break down to me. I, I, I hear this word. Because when I first started talking to you, I said, man, Fred Hampton Jr., man, I was excited about it. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh, fast forward, King Noah come to the store, and that's just the confirmation. God just keep on saying, yeah. you gotta get to Fred Hampton yeah, Jr. Yeah, yes, he he keeps out. sending people into my Shout life. You know what yes, I mean? Indeed. So, King Noah come, he's like, you know, Fred? I'm like, yeah. I said, I've been talking with him. I said, we've been yeah. talking for months trying to link this up. I, it's just, uh, it needs to happen. But the one thing that he really really would say is chairman fred hampton yeah. jr yeah. i want you to break down who what is the chairman what is that title yeah. because um i mean of course out of respect i started immediately saying Chair, yeah. chairman fred yeah. i want to know what does that how, yeah. what, how did that come about what does that mean i know your father had it but just tell the people so they'll understand and right. then is there an age that is associated with it because ever since you were born they still call you little chairman yeah right so how does that work? Yeah, shout out to King Noah's uh, sister K. Uh, oh man, man, that's my girl, man. Cleo, she said I can I can say her name on here too. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, right yeah. Go on, say it, man, Cleo. She want all the smoke. Man, this, <laughs> I, 
I, I, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, at the time, and I'm coming to contact with a lot of these people, you know what I'm saying, it's, man. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a yeah, blessing. man. Um, Chicago in particular, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it, not only was it the top, uh, it remains to be like a top segregated city in the country, mm-hmm. but the checks and balances about structure, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's corroded now. And one of America's policies is to create chaos and then restore order. Create chaos and then restore, restore order. order. I think a lot of times our people, we have an issue against structure because a lot of times our first con- concept of that is given to us by the ruling class, by the system. Like, it has to be some sort of state apparatus, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whether it be you know, law enforcement or whether it be the Marines or state. But a structured organization, I remember when I first got to um, Ireland, a delegation for a long held political prisoner, Mumia Abu Jamal, myself, Minister Conversation, Pam Africa, Ramon Africa, and others. And something that burned that Devlin who was the IRA, she said, now she's banned from the United States, but she said to me, she said, I remember seeing you as a child. I remember this chain you had on your necklace. You had a, a chain with a bullet around it. I said, well, she, she said, I remember that. Wow. And she said, I remember the, the titles, Minister of Health, Doc Satchel. Mm-hmm. Chairman Freeham, Defense Captain Mark Clark. She said, we, 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 I, we respected that, the, 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 her comrades. And a lot of people don't believe that we're worthy of a structure, you know what I'm saying? And also checks and balance. Now I was known as young, they called me little chairman as a child, but the actual chairman came in with some responsibility, you know what I'm saying? And how old were you when you took on that responsibility? I'm, um, 1994, when we, when we officially formed, uh, you, you hear us interchangeably say POCC and BPPC. Okay. POCC is Prisons of Conscience Committee, and BPPC is Black Panther Party Cubs. Okay. Interchangeably use that. Similar to the Black Panther Party, when they first formed, it was the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. That was the first name, October, uh, uh, 15, October 15, 1966, 1966. And it wasn't here in Chicago? No, no, Oakland, it? California. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, Minister UEP Newton, uh, Chairman Bobby Seale. Um, we would have um, first, uh, so prior to the Black Panther Party Cubs, we had the Prisons of Conscience Committee. And we still interchangeably use that, you know. Um, but that title and structure of accountability because especially uh, uh, an organization that's under attack our people a lot of times we, it's romantic or it's, it's attractive to be just vague or just say we're here but without structure without to say okay this is this this is this you know what I'm saying you you you, you can't um, that that structure and accountability that um, especially especially in particular with a revolutionary organization is needed you know you have, you know, you have uh, forces such as Field Marshal George Jackson, who was the Field Marshal of the Black Panther Party. Actually, he was actually born in Chicago, West Side of Chicago. Him and Minister U.E.P. Newton never came in contact face to face. They were several prison cells down from each other, mm-hmm. but they were they were um, comrades. You know, you know what I'm saying? And that dynamic of checks and balance. So, you know, so when you talk about such, such contradictions as being you know, infiltration. Agent provocateurs. We've been we've been infiltrated. We're gonna be infiltrated. That comes with it. We had checks and balance. Go back and say, wait, where, where did this come from? Where is this leak? Like a plumber said, where, where did this leak come from? Where is this, where is this water? He just can't come say, man, it's come from the pipes. Right. He said, hold on, the axle, the elbow, elbow. You need any entity. You exactly. know, so a, a, car, a car mechanic, you have to have a structure. You have to say, okay, where, you, you just can't go say, okay, my car messed up. He said, hold on, let me, he had to be able to pinpoint that country and say, okay, so what are the people? They, they, we have differences, you know. It's different, you know. We have class differences, different interests, different mm-hmm. aspirations. Mm-hmm. To be able to say, okay, wait a minute, this is where a person relates to, you know. Um, That's exactly because what you're saying. Um, we did an interview yesterday, and we were talking about the children, and we were talking about how we can we effectively have children learn, and but everybody have different learning mechanisms. Everybody don't learn the same exactly. way. Exactly. So really, you have to break it down and have whether do a test to see okay are you more of a hands-on person are you more of a person that needs to read it are you an audit need to hear it yes so in order to know okay how we need to separate this class yes so each and every one of us can come to the same result but Mm -hmm. we can be able to obtain all of the knowledge that's being given through the schools Mm -hmm. good good right on the knowledge and also at and take take into account we talking about when we talking about the the brutal the brutal reality of a war being waged upon us that operates on the auspices such as war on drugs, war on guns, war on mm-hmm. gangs, and with that we can't we can't romanticize that right. during our struggle. We have to be we have to be also clear that there are what comes with struggle. 
it's something a lot of people don't like to talk about. Some guys here, he didn't like the he didn't like the fact that um, William O'Neill would be even portrayed in the movie Judas and Black Messiah. Mm -hmm. He wanted. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you, you you want? They want this romanticism. Mm -hmm. We have to. I say in a relationship. I want the truth. The good, the bad, nothing. Exactly. You can't be in a relationship. Somebody and say, man, I don't know. I don't want know about her snoring. She, 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 you know, she snores. I don't want to hear about that. Mm -hmm. huh? Y'all have been in a relationship. What you mean? You, 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 it, contradict, they acknowledge that. Well, I don't want to know about him coming in late. This, you, they acknowledge these kinds of, you know what I'm saying? And respect, you want a movement to my people to be able, like to, with the Black Panther Party. I don't romanticize it. I, the, the good, I study the different dynamics. I say, when you talk about, man, for example, we went to William O'Neill's funeral mm. and paid our disrespects. Yeah, uh, 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 James Gloves Davis. You know that, that they took it down on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We went and we went to his funeral. See, it would be Hanhan, the former Cook County State's Attorney. We went and we went and showed our disrespect at the funerals. A lot of people. They when went, you do something like that, do they like try to escort you out? Oh they try to, man, how that's does that the word. work? Oh, it's been, oh, it's a, <laughs> oh, we didn't have some. Um, I, man, how does that work? Um. <laughs> The, 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 okay, this little background who Hanyan is. Mm -hmm. Hanyan was set to be the next mayor of Chicago after Mayor Daley. He okay. was Mayor Daley's political water boy. He was, a, he was the poster child for the face of the assassination of Chairman Frank the Fiscal and Mark Clark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was the Cook County State's Attorney. Now, now that, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a title. You know what I'm saying? In fact, Chicago, Cook County was, was one of, uh, if not one, if not the only one, a few places where it was considered to be a promotion to go from uh, uh, attorney general for the feds to go to Cook County State's attorney. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that he came from that to go, you know what I'm saying? So this, man, you, it, it used to be, Chicago, Cook County was the largest populace of black people in the country. They used to be. Now it's a whole different dynamic going on now. Um, but that, um, his funeral, I remember we were talking about, we hearing about it, and people, not people, they, was, they still shook when they hear his name. And some forces went along with us because they didn't know who he was. Right. It wasn't because of bravery. It was naivety. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we went there, and we you know, and it, it messed people up. Like, like they, 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 they seen, it was no even there were no Negro police even there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And so it, they can see you coming from a mile away. Man, they seen us coming from a mile away into my and man, it went down up in there. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's some still pictures posted. You know, uh, we we, we, we kind of I'm sure the video called it on though, but. It was, it was it was a hum, it was a, it was a rumble. Yeah. When I, mm. you know, and and it's times like that that pretty much for you to be able to uh, be able to deal with the the situation uh, in order to organize, you know, with whether it be the Black Panther Party or the Black Black Panther uh, Cubs, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, that takes a special type of individual, especially with you being, you know, having the DNA of Fred Hampton Senior. You know, it's just it's it's a remarkable thing to see that God has given us something to where it still has that spirit. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's so much needed, especially with, with with everything that's going on around us. You have to inject that in it in the scenario in order for our people to feel even safe at, at times. Uh, you have to have organization, uh, uh, structure, yes. like you said about chairman. You know, like I said, for you to be able to. You you have to hold on to that. Yes. You know what I mean? And and yes. I think that's I, I like that. That's yes. dope. You yes. know. So um but yeah. ODC Young Fly and them took you on stage. I like that too because they deal with a lot of the youth. <sighs> they deal with a lot of young people. Yes. So at the yes. end of the day, with them dealing with the people that they deal with, eighty five South been is a show, you know, a springboard where they came, they dealt with uh, Wild and Out and all type, that, that whole oh. uh, crowd of people that follows yes. them, for them to be able to inject you into that scenario is another big, gigantic, Monumental. enormous thing. You know Monumental. what I mean? So to, to, to hear that just, it, it, it's being an older cat, you know, it just, it, it, it shows me that there's hope. And I guess it's subjective. Like, okay, we, were, we was going to Atlanta for another move. This cat was talking about he gonna hook me up for this speaking engagement. And, I, and, and bless the brother who was hooking up, bless his heart, I was telling him, the cat he was talking about, he didn't really know who I was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times you get, you know, you gotta go through the process. He's like, no, they gonna, they know, they know about the Black Panthers. You gonna, I said, okay. So we go through the whole truth, we get down there. So now it's reality hitting. Dude, like, man, I didn't know who this, you know. So I said, don't trip. So I tell my guy, ain't no heart. So he really was kind of messed up. I was trying to explain, it's a different, it's a different dynamic. So we ended up speaking to some youngsters. I think there's at Morehouse and some other schools. Just, just like, I mean, a lot of, a lot of my our best moves are unplanned. And then some cats seen me in the restaurant. 
Okay, brother, uh, scape, uh, scapegoat, I think is his name. He, well, he said, man, look, I recognize that hat. He said, man, you're the chairman, you know what I'm saying? I said, yeah. He said, man, what you doing tomorrow, man? He said, man, come. I said, we got to hit the road. He said, you got to come to 85 South. I wasn't even here to 85 South. Man. Mm -hmm. A lot of cats, said, man, chairman, don't go on there, man. Just the car, he be joking, comedy show. I said, okay, man. I said, it's a, so I said, every, every, every youngster I talked to, like, man, 85. I said, we going. <laughs> got to. We going. I said, I told this kid one time, his brother named Big D, he used to be like the, like the point, hand, uh, point man for Waka Flocka. He told okay. me, he said, hey man, how you be dealing with all this stuff going, doing these artists, these youngsters and stuff, man? Been, he said, man, don't you get tired of this? I said, I said man, I gotta mm -hmm. deal with the good, the bad, and the ugly. I just can't drink no Aquafina water. You wanna reach everybody. We man. Go, man, we going to, you hey, wanna reach everybody. We going, you know what I'm saying? And we going in with the re recognizing reality that there are some casualties too. Exactly. We all don't come in, I tell you, we don't come in with this romanticism that everybody gonna be on. See, we hiding the contradictions. That's something they said about the movie. On the movies, they said, Chairman, you always saying that. I said, you gotta, we're not going to, see, you set yourself up for disappointment you come in and think everybody's going to be on the same on the, uh, the same position. you hiding the contradiction. You learned about yourself. I tell you, when I was locked up, one of the best cellmates I ever had was a guy by the name of Chairman Fred and Hampton Jr. I studied me. I watched him. I said, I don't see what you're going to do now on this hunger strike. Let's see what happened. They're going to transfer you to the Supermax. I studied that. How long did you stay locked up? Total, 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 uh, just a little bit under nine years. Total. And, and yeah. when you first got locked up, was it something to where, you know, with your father being locked up like he was, did you think about that? Oh, no, no doubt about it. I, one of the nicknames, one of the monikers I was given was uh, Deja Vu. Yeah. And that was in Menard. Menard was the, the prison that was depicted in the movie Judas and Black Messiah. Mm -hmm. Chairman Fred was sent to Menard after he was to the Stateville. He was sent to Stateville first. And they, they call you by your name, your number, not your name. That's right. And every time they approach him with a number, if he responds, he says, I'm Deputy Chairman Fred, Illinois Chapter Chairman of the Black Panther Party. They say he had to be criminally, mentally insane for refusing to answer to this number. Transferred him to Menard, 1969. Wow. I get bounced. Now, all the time I'm on the circuit, being transferred, you know what I'm saying? When they finally told me, you can send me to Menard, it was like, boom, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah? Here we go, you know what I'm saying? This is 1999. Yeah. So I get down there. I met some of the same guys who was there that was, that was yeah. there, who had not been home. They that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. that, that, sounds, that sounds like it should be about right. And the cast was telling me, he said, man, yeah, that was our thing. Hidden, hidden prisons for the administration. Wow. They said, that was the move. When Chairman come down, that was the plan. Mm -hmm. They said, man, Chairman hit that yard. Man, he got the politicized us, man. We told, they said, told, we told the warden, man. We on Chairman Fred's security. Anything happening, we on you accountable for it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh -huh. When I was down there, they had... Uh, See, first... that wasn't in the movie. No, nah, you, you, can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't put a shark in a fish tank. You can't, you can't tell everything about this. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't... It's, that you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's you can't, deep, yeah, real talk. That's very when deep. When I first got to Menard, I looked for the... I, first time I looked for any, any prison, I, I, I checked the gun tower. Probably two of them up there. So when I get there, it's about eight of them. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. so they the, know you in the house. The, 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 okay, here's up. Eyes open. You know, it's going down. So it's, uh, it's, it's particularly a uh, pig named Torville. I remember him like it's yesterday, real short. He come trying to make maybe get reactionary, you know. See, tearing mm -hmm. my property. They put out a newspaper, Chicago Sun Times, with a picture of my father, picture of Chairman Fred on there. Gang activity, take him out. They send a warden, warden Page. Man, this dude so reactionary, so racist. He come in, he just throwing out. He part of this gang. He part of this gang. Sit on the north side. I get over the north side. They gave me down there. So the word traveling. He here. He here. So brother's like, man, you up there? I said, yeah. They said, man, you know the chairman was over in this in the same uh, uh, unit. I said, what? I said, yeah, it's North Sig. You ain't know? I said, no, it was my first time in Menard. Wow. They said, man, matter of fact, gallery, what gallery you on? I said, on seven. They said, man. They said, same gallery. They said, the chair, what cell you in? I said, you know what? We're gonna start this conversation yeah. right now. We're gonna back on this conversation right now. I said, we're getting a little too close to home, man. And they they gave they gave me nickname Deja Vu. That's what they called me that. Wow. Deja Vu. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. crazy. If you don't mind me asking, what were you what what was the reason you was put in prison? That that case they hit me with was uh technically legally legally charged with two trumped up cases of aggravated arson. Okay. The the, the deal, I was man, they made it clear during a quote unquote trial. Say, quote, it, was, it was a legal lynching. They questions they put forward. Aren't you uh, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr.? Don't, man, we, 
the jurors, they would do, they like, what, what, what was the case? You know, they, they, they forget mm -hmm. all the, they sat for, after, after the rebellions happened, after the, uh, the semi valley verdict by Rodney King being beat. Right. When the decision came down and the uprising happened throughout the country, they gave me a case I pulled a firebomb these two stores on the south side of Chicago. Mm. But when I was locked up, it was, didn't you write this article? Didn't you, don't you believe this? Didn't you write this? That's all, they made it clear I was a political prisoner. And I was subsequently sentenced to uh, 18 years. And at that time, you would serve half of the time right. uh, in Illinois. Yeah. How did your um, mom handle it when um, this case came up? Trooper, soldier. She, man, uh, I've always said I feel fortunate if um, falling from the tree of two freedom fighters, Chairman Free and Hampton, also for Cool and Jerry. I said something for her to go to witness her husband, a comrade of Menard. Yeah, her son will come right, right. down the Menard. Right. Uh, I remember the day when they convicted me and said guilty. I remember that. I, mean, I remember I remember taking my watch up, giving them my watch. Um, hell, man, held in line, man. I, it's a poem I did called uh, uh, The Mother Old. I, I, broke, I talked about her, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I talk about a lot of poems, but she, that's my A1 from day one, you know what I'm saying? She, 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 I know, because you're the only child. Yeah, and you know, it's, some lady laughed one time. She said, "What did you call your mother?" I said, My "Comrade." She said, "Right." She she, she said, "What?" And that's I mean, this is this is this is um, and I hope you can't. Really, this, this is my comrade. And you've this always is, called her that, or as you got so older. I like, I, I, uh, uh, as I got older, you know what I'm saying. As I, as I got older, you know, okay. of course, you know, children, you know, children subjected. This, you know, your mama, you know mom. what I'm saying. <laughs> but all, but through battle, we've been, you know, what I'm saying through, right. we've been in situations. I'm talking about, you know, we've been. Going, you know, we had to go against the grain. You know, I mean, I, I, I remember I'm about 12 years old. I tell, I tell this story a lot. A book deal was brought to her, and it really, the book was really building up the police that was involved in assassination. We didn't have no no heat in our house, none, freezing. And I remember asking her, so I said, was, was, if, "If that happens, do that mean we get heat now?" She wouldn't go. Mm. She, and people, there was some people that was in the Panther Party. Now make sure you clear on that. And I, I distinguish those that was in the Black Panther Party and those of the Black Panthers. Okay. A lot of people that was in the Panther Party, family members, slandered, went against the y'all you know, crazy. You know, this this before these, how, do you, how do you young cats say now? Get the bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These it was catch on get the bag, but which way back then mm -hmm. she held a line all yeah, through the her script. Integrity in her. All through yeah, the script. Yeah. Man, that, and and that's, that's, that's to be commended. Man, this it's man. Um, and it's commended, and it, man, it's age. You can't explain. Reverie, Words man. can't explain Reverie, it, man, you, you know. Because you know. when yeah. I think about the story, um, it's like, okay, when I watch any movies or, you know, learn about history, about the things that we've been through, mm -hmm. and this isn't my father. Yes, it's my great-grandfather, you know, because you, you past, you don't know a lot of them. Right. But they probably went through a lot. But you actually know that your father, what he went through. But when I see these things, it makes me angry. You know, I get upset. Sometimes that hatred comes into my heart for just a second. And sometimes you just have to let it go. When you find out, found out about all these things that happened, did you have any hate? Anger. Anger. Before I, seen, before I knew about the assassination, I knew about the love of, you know what I'm saying, and... and, and, and Jacob Vada said that no matter how preposterous it may sound, a revolution is guided by the most sincere sentiments of love. And I don't, I don't get that twisted, like, you know, this some old kumbaya turn other cheek, and we oh yes, you know, you know, we get some, get some, get some green juice and some bean bags and we get. Field Marshal George Jackson's mother, Georgia Jackson, said at the prison hearing after they assassinated George, Field Marshal George, they assassinated his younger brother Jonathan Jackson before that. She said he had a, a rage, a passion in him. On one hand, but she said he had a love for the people that you couldn't describe, mm -hmm. and that's a that's what we got it of. You know, you know what I'm saying? And it's important that people understand when we the moves we do. It's like you know, it's, 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 we, we love the people. You know what I'm saying? We have you know so it's not guided from a reactionary. I'm just you know, my first contact is not they killed my dad. My first you know what I'm saying. Like you, you very. You, you look at the bigger picture. You, 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 in fact, you, you go through a roll call of my speeches. You, I don't, you have probably never heard me say the police killed my daddy. You right. always hear me say the government assassinated Chairman exactly. Fred. Exactly. Exactly. It's like boxing. It's so when you box. 
And that, that pain, like you, you say, if you hit it, they, they, they show you how to do it in karate, you how to spread it through the body. You know, it makes it mm-hmm. the people's pain reflects. You know what I'm saying? This is you know what I'm saying? this wasn't just this wasn't just my father. This is this is this one of our representatives, a major. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be able to put this objectively, so we don't. T- a lot of times people don't they, take it too they personal. Take, they take subjective. We have a saying: subjectivity mm-hmm. stunts one's ability to make proper summations. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of cats talking. You just count the times you hear them say, "Me and I." That's true. They really believe the world revolves around them. I, I be with Cham, we got some new forces. People to come on. They, they, they look at my face. They say, Cham, we know you. They say, Cham, you ain't happy. A lot people don't. They knew the new people be thinking like, man, they, I'm like, here we go, because it's pros and cons of that. Because I tell people come in. This the first time police kill somebody. This is the first time this happened. They come with an energy and be good, but they it's, not, it's subjective. It's no past history. Of, you know what I'm saying? To, to take into account. This 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 the road this the pro this the mo this is the modus operandi how this system gets down. Will it ever stop? As long as this, this system, as long as this imperialism needs, uh, no, this this system is a uh, system that that's that's the ingredient. That's the that's that's the that's the that's the that's the uh, barking of a dog. That's the fish swimming. That's the the parasitical policy, the parasitic relationship. It's you know natural. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it, 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 one, it was birthed up for that. It was, you know what I'm saying? The first the, the, you look at the people say, oh, the police, they just they didn't get back. The history the, during the era of chattel slavery. That was the first. But that was the patrol to catch runaway slaves. Cain and Abel. This, this, this the whole. This the die. This the. This the way it is. You can. You know, so we have to put this in context. To say this. You know, what I'm saying we hiding the contradiction. This was this system. You say the system is broken. This was what it was designed to do. It was, it was that. You know I mean? no, man, you talking about the whole colonizing the people, and you have to have. To be a successful uh, 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 drug dealer, cats gonna have habits. So if it's never gonna change and this is always gonna be like this, what's the fight for? Self determination. Self determination. I don't want to sound clicheish, but the right to determine destiny of our communities. You hate the contradictions. In, 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 in our, uh, 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 one of the axioms that Santa Nisha said in Latin America, the will of the people is greater than the man's technology. You hate the contradictions, you know what I'm saying, to the point, it's like, the, the, it's, it's more the people. How, how, hard, is it, hard is it is to believe the people outnumber the, the, the system, you mm-hmm. dig? And, uh, mm-hmm. and any situation like, like other, now, Tom, Tom, Patrick Henry, his thing was, you know, give me liberty, give me death. You know. But that wasn't the sentence everybody related. The reality was Thomas Jefferson said uh, that, majority, that the people of the American Revolution related to one third was for it, one third was against it, and one third went whichever way the wind blew. Okay. Mm-hmm. Once you hate the contradictions, you'll be surprised sort of concession. Because one an Achilles' heels of this system is to acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To call it. That's what. That was one of the setbacks they had. They had to pull back with Trump. Cause it was such an arrogance. He was he was saying point blank. This was this was this. And everybody the, can't accept that. No, exactly. And also, it does not work in the system's benefit. You, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's why, like when if you recall when he said when, how you reference Africa. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He said Africa a shithole. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Dick Durbin, the rest of them, they they thing want. Hey man, you you bogus. You out of order for saying. They like, hey man, don't say it like that. Yeah. Dick Durbin. Trump say, man, when the, uh, the, um, but they gonna say the same thing, but they say it in a different that, way. Exactly, that's the whole the, the, the the Ma- Machiavellian. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you, you know what I'm saying? Nick, Kennedy and Nixon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kennedy, the, the, the uh, um, um, the Bay of Pigs, the assassinations on on on, 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 attempts on uh, the field, Fidel Castro, under Kennedy, was, Ken, U.S. President John F. Kennedy, it was his brother Robert Kennedy, that put the uh, wire top on Dr. Mm-hmm. King. So this is you, know, you said because he thought you, you, you not to give us these euphemisms. When Nixon came in, pulled a camp, he said, "Man, campaign for law and order is going down." It forced you know, what I'm saying it was stuff that forced people to say, "Okay, wait a minute." And, and I, I want to be careful with saying it because I mean, I was talking, I was saying talking to Kate the other day. She said, "Chairman, you saying about Trump?" I said, "No, no, I'm not. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm not with the Republican Party or the yeah, Democratic yeah. Party." Right. I'm with the Black Panther Party. I'm, I'm we cut from the cloth during the era of chattel slavery when the, when the Civil War was going down. People, people was fighting over who the blue coats and who jackets you can wear the gray coat. We ain't with the Union of the Confederate. We were Reverend Nat Turner and Harriet Tubman. No, you you definitely you got you. It's, it's something about your spirit. Like I said, to be able to understand how to even speak on on the subjects and organize the the whole situation with what you're dealing with today. Um, you know, that can be something to where it can be something to where it can 
become something under fire. You know oh. what I mean? Because people are looking at that, and you're 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 injecting help into our people when you do that. So that's some of the things that keeping other guys locked up because they know if they let them out, then it's going to be something that pretty much going to inject change for our, our people to come together more. So Real talk. for you to be out here doing what you're doing, the work you're doing, and being able to articulate. Yes. In with, with within the the, the conversation yes. of, of these organizations yes. is, is is a threat in itself. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. because that, that when you said I'm not from the uh, Republican Party or the Democratic Party, mm-hmm. I'm from the Black Panther Party. Yeah. That's a whole situation. Whole situation. Because deal is this system in particular is is is, is Machiavellian. Uh, we're giving you quote unquote options. You, you know what I'm saying? America's definition of diplomacy. Is letting others have their way. America's definition of diplomacy is letting others have their way. So in other words, they know how to make people in Iraq say, we demand more McDonald's with this. Okay, okay, you got it. Once you're in Chicago, we want more cameras. That was the agenda through the door. But they know how to flip the script and make it like you fall for this. You know what I'm saying? That's diplomacy. We, we gave you the whole, even the dynamic of, of a vote. It's the facade of free. Malcolm X said America's democracy is, a, is an hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. It's a, it allows for Hillary Clinton to go to a uh, 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 Robin Island prison and say, ooh, this is horrible. This man did 24, 27 years in this place. At the same time, under your husband's tenure, you know what I'm saying, and you and her, her in major positions. You had Geronimo G. Jocko, you know what I'm saying, you had Sonny, well, Sonny uh, Coley recently released <laughs> political prison, he just got out, but you still had Mumia Abu Jamal, you know what I'm saying, so many others who are held captive, you know, Shelson and Q. McGee's, and countless of others. But that, Ameri- when they went to uh, Cuba, uh, Cuba uh, uh, President Obama administration, they asked uh, 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 Raul um, Castro, well, you heard that human rights violation, uh, man, uh, Fidel Castro got jumped off the bed. Hold on, let me, let me, hold on. He said, hold on, he got jumped off the bed. He said, let me address this here. Because it, it's, it's a facade of freedom that allows them to go around the world and check and say, do you have human rights violations? And it's going down right here. But you euthanize, you want drugs, war on gun. If Chicago, which is infamous referred to Chirac. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You can, pull, you can pull the numbers up. Just, let's say last night, 20, 24 murders, 20, 24 people, at least 24 people shot. I, now I ain't checking the numbers. I guarantee you. I, I, ain't, I ain't no psychic. I, ain't no, I guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? The, three days ago, they, they said 28, 28 shot, 10 dead. If you take that narrative and you switch it around and take black people about that narrative and say 28 poodles, 28 white poodles got shot and 10 dead. You ain't got to say, they mm. shut, man. Yep. Peter, though every entity, that, it, it won't be no. It won't be no elementary discussion like, uh, you think it's dog on dog crime? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You 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 think it'd be some discussion? It's gonna be dog, some action. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be some pinning some tail on some pigs. That's right. It's gonna be some dogs. It's gonna be some. Wait a minute. The AKC, the kennels. Who's in charge? Of the, That's correct. Right. Who somebody is in charge? Somebody ain't no, get it. Ain't no poop. Ain't no pit bulls and no poos and no golden retrievers making these decisions for us to do this to each other. Somebody in power is responsible for this here. They're going to relate to what the criminal psychologist said. You know, the first thing you look for in the crime scene is what? Who benefited? Mm-hmm. Who benefited? You see no man in, Sh- in, Sh- in Chirac. You, you can, I mean, you can literally, you can, t- man, connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? To, man, uh, 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 to the rail, uh, 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 railroad uh, companies, you know what I'm saying? The cartel, the, 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 the relation with the United, the U.S., oh, the whole dynamic. But when you connect the dots, sometimes you have to go too far back. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, you, and, and, and it's scary because you start, you start touching, you know what I'm saying, politics, you start touching dynamics and you question yourself, like, you know, how do you fit in it, you know what I'm saying, the relationship. And it's, it's, it's simple, but it's complex. Right. It's simple, you know what I'm saying, because we're we able to see it, we, like, if you, amongst each other. Like, a lot of people are gang conscious, like, man, this dude, it's, you got to be on a hustle. you doing this and that. When it comes to the system, people say, no, I can't believe, I can't believe they're doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. No, I just like I said when I uh, when when I think about the uh, the way that you guys you know um, you guys have where, where we come from you know to be able to still stand strong and firm on a belief system where you're trying to uphold our people is something to be proud of. Yeah. Um, but when I, we talked earlier, you spoke. You said uh, it was Buster Rhymes. It was we talked about Tupac. We talked about Ice T. Uh, we talked about uh, 85 South, you know, who other, as far as entertain, entertainers that, that uh, 
or people that you can, you know, can call on a trust when it comes down to situations. Because these people, like I say, and I say this all the time, uh, when this hip hop thing spiraled into this, you know, in your era, these are some powerful people, man. Uh, when it come down to economics and stuff like that, you know, uh, generational wealth. Do 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 is it any of those people anybody that you can, you know, trust to come into a situation and help? Uh, this brother named Pastor David was just caught talking to me yesterday. He asked me that same question. Yeah. You know, I said, you know, it's not. I don't take it personal. It's, um, um, everything, you know, and this, this gives me, this provides me my sanity. Because I was talking a lot of stuff personal, stuff like you know, you like, damn, could you think like all the excellent resources that a lot of It's because y'all have done so much. You that's think, what. You I, that's think, why I'm you would, saying. You would it. think, yeah, you, a lot of response. Other communities, you say, man, you look at, you better believe, you better, you, you, even if it ain't documented, you better believe that Justin Timberlake is some relationship with this. With that's this correct. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But you have to keep in context too. You know what I'm saying? Like the political dynamics of. I said we the last call for alcohol. It's a lot of they don't even see, and even how they view revolutionaries. Even a lot of these, a lot of these cats, even how they view resources. They have no, a lot of cats. You, you mentioned, you said some generational wealth. Yeah, a lot of these cats come from come from loot, and you know what I'm saying. They have no, they really. It's like like I done seen some of these people, artists. I'm talking to, but we need some resources. I, like, I'm, like, they, it's like I'm talking Charlie Brown teaching language to them. You know what I'm saying? They, a lot of cats, a lot of cats in the streets. You know what I'm saying? They can't, they can't have no, have no frame of reference of it. Their, a lot of their concept of a, uh, their, their first concept of organizations be a lot of these GMOs, government made organizations. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no, if no frame of reference of some cats really getting down. For, that's why it's important to see some cats who st- like. I tell people, out of all the movies I've ever seen on child slavery. I like this one called uh, Book of Negroes. Okay. That's crazy. I, the, the way it's, I sit down, I, I feel weird saying that. No. But it showed African people fighting back in a non-reactionary way. What that means is they want because they got captured. They was they got they was free, and they was fighting. Because a lot of the, a lot of time people, our people are subjected to what we call the Spreewell effect. What I mean by that is Spreewell checked that white coach about what choke disrespecting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black people have never seen no organization that stands up and fight for our people. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. That's a, that's a, that's a foreign, that, it's a reactionary thing. They, they come through and, I, and they, they give us certain spokespersons. You know what I'm saying? And, and they make you think that you picked them. You be like, damn. It's like this, like guy say, the <laughs> guy go to the lounge. He say, excuse me. He say, a lot of guys think that he chose the woman. And she lay, she lay back and lay, she laughed at him later on. She said, I, I seen you coming there for two weeks straight. You know, his man said, I, I peeped you, I seen you. How these leaders entertain us? We think that they, you know what I'm saying? That they that we chose them. They give us they and it all and also they have what we call die in the bag. Die in the bag means I tell a cat a cat go up in the bank, call it, give me a loot, give me a loot, and they give you money real quick. You gotta be real cautious because you when you they, they got die in the bag. That wow. gonna, a lot of the people they give you, they know how far it's gonna go. Yeah, they got their background. They like a maturing candidate. They know what trigger words to shut them down. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they excite you. Then it's gonna demoralize you. You know what I'm saying? Some you say makes sense. You you so someone's saying they they're they're being selected. No doubt about it. So basically, when you look at them, a lot of them. Something else you said that basically they they didn't come from poverty. A lot of no, these guys come from brick homes man, and, 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 and and guess what? Yeah. Their parents sold out before they even could man, sell out. Go so they was born a into a born, they was born into a sold out situation. Man, through the dough. They, 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 matter of fact, they didn't even sold uh, sell out sell out is one of the most overused terms in our community. Set, quote me on that. Sell out is one of the most over they was castle they was never even connected to they the community. They was never even connected they, to the community. If they wanted it, and, and don't take it personal like you said, man, I can't believe it. You, they, they, I, can, I look at some of these people's faces, I be talking to them. They really cannot relate to, you know what I'm saying? We got a saying, he turns more than me black. Wow. Hmm. He turns more than me black. Certain conditions. Now, Michael Jackson, first, with his first song, was song, don't make a difference if you black, black or white. Or white. Mm-hmm. When he changed the song to they don't care about us, when he caught that case. That's correct, when he caught that case. See, you, it's like it's like you got you, I talk, I talk to these, these different people. I say, okay, hold on, they, they fighting the case. I got to study them. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to study atmosphere, the climate, everything. It's a certain dynamic. No matter what you say, don't I tell you, don't flatter yourself. You don't. I mean, a lot of people say. Some people don't understand unless it it touches home. Him, not, not even home. They room. Right. They room. They yeah, they like exactly. they not even concerned about the home. You, a lot of these cats don't even have no no, no, no family connections. You know, 
Big Gibb said some. I watched some interview today. Big Gibb said some. Goody Ma. Mm -hmm. He was talking. He's even even. He said even how they look for you to be in the entertainment industry. You got. He say they don't want no, no ties, no connections. You can't have no family, tech, no no loyalty to nothing else. They pick you out. He, he said you can't have no. You come with some backbone. That's a problem. Mm. That's right. Yeah, I agree with that. A, you I know can what see that being an issue. He, it's a he, man. He could have dropped the mic when he said that. Mm. Yeah. It's a man. It's a, it's a tactic. Like when the pimp go to the Greyhound bus station, grab a girl. He what he, he disconnect her from her family, from her community. Mm -hmm. And what you do is second nature. You know what I'm saying? That movie, that James Brown movie. Remember when the white dude was talking to him? And they said, man, what's going on? James Brown said, I know what time it is. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. He said, I know how this go. He remembered as a child. Cut them off. You know what I'm saying? See, I failed fourth year English grammar uh, 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 English class. Yeah. Cause I kept on saying us and we. Wow, you us and we. You, that that's that, that's. Deep. I can imagine that because going through um, with all the knowledge that you've known growing up as a kid and still had to go to public school where they don't really teach what home was teaching you, with the history of us black people and stuff like that. that. Had to when be tough. they right and when they're teaching things that you're like, no, that's not right. What are you talking about? You get. We like we we got to be not till we draw a foregone conclusion in Chicago alone the amount of home they're talking about students it starts at home the number of homeless students mm -hmm. the home ain't got you know what I'm saying the home the structure you know what I'm saying even talking about Africa other communities you hear about stuff something just happened in Mexico people it's a pride you right, come through Chicago doing Cinco de Mayo you see the flags the Mexicano flags you see children they, they the way they walk it's a pride people are proud about where they're from. He also said that to me at Plain Lane with Terry. He said, man, Chairman, we, we, he said, man, we, we ain't, we, we better not ride with no flag. He said, where our flag? I said, man, I told him, man, God, he gave us the red, the black, and the green. He said, man, what would have happened to us if we ride around with that? Mm. He said, what would have happened to us? Wow. Get, be targeted. What targeted? Ain't no doubt about it. Be and that, we had to heighten that contradiction. You know what I'm saying? We, the, the dynamics of, the man, continue attacks. You know what I'm saying? Language and, and not to have a not to have a base that you can connect to as a people. You know what I'm saying? It's embarrassing being See, oppressed. I never thought about that because, like, I'm Jamaican and I'll have a flag in my car, and it 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 you feel a sense of pride when you see somebody else drive past and have that flag. Yes, they even toot their horn yes. so you can recognize yes. each other to know that we're yes. here. Yes, and you know not, what I mean. It don't mean that you got to be antagonistic against another community. Against another it's community, community. A, but still something that you believe. Something that you, you can connect to. with, it belong to right. people. Let me and say Chicago that. used to have it with the street tribes. Street organizations, they can pick up, a, they had a structure like it was one of my guys, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, by the way, I'll be remiss if I, I, I mentioned some political prisoners. Earlier, I came in Chicago without mentioning Mr. Larry Hoover, man, my brother T. Bobby, the known Jeff Ford. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, when I think about just uh, our people, people of color, if we broke down those barriers, like 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 Mike talk, talked about on the show, mm -hmm. and we took away the Jamaican, uh, uh, you know, black, the African black, and the American black, and we it's all, just black. and if it was just black, it'd be something different. If we could break those boundaries, you know what I mean. I spoke at the, uh, I spoke at the, on the panel last night. Uh, four other four panels from uh, Nigeria. Okay. And they were talking about, in fact, the, the panel, the, the title was Bridging the Gap. Yeah. I said, how about this? Let's just acknowledge the gap. Yeah. I said, right now, we are doing the panel of North, 2610 North Halsted. This is a different world from 54th South Halsted, where our headquarters used to be at. Mm -hmm. And our people, when, they come, when we come from the homeland, we know what part to go to in Chicago, up North. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, we got, it's flattering to say that we just broke those barriers down. The deal is politics, food, clothing, and shelter, how the price of gas, who gets health care, how you're treated. These are not barriers that we are in control of. That's you, right. know, you know what I'm saying? See, it's, it's like we come in with this romanticism. Like, you know, like you know, we just we just change you know, change free out, you know, free your mind, your ass will follow, just change the thought. There are conditions and we have to acknowledge these contradictions, you know what I'm saying? The west side and south side of Chicago, two different dynamics. You know what I'm saying? You can see, you know, like, when I grew up, you can't even go, you know what I'm saying? I've seen uh, sister, uh, CC talking about the West Side and the South Side. And yeah. In, uh, and in layman's terms, she was expressing some political contradictions. It's, we have to come to grips with acknowledging contradictions without them necessarily being antagonistic. Because, see, if you don't acknowledge them, the state will do it. It's like, like when people say, well, I don't want to talk to my daughter about um, sexual intercourse. That, that's because you're going, 
Somebody gonna talk to her about it. Somebody's gonna talk to her about it. I don't, I don't, I don't talk to my son about the police doing something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's something I'm. Gonna, oh, oh, he, he oh, gonna learn when he get in that. When he he get gonna in, learn when he get in that room and he not clear. And you you wonder why he th the police talking to him? He think that's his friends. We have to hide these. You know what I'm saying? It's not the not. See, when you as Cointel Pro Counterintelligence Program. When the U.S. government, in their own words, a program created to discredit, demand, disrupt, and destroy any black nationalist movement, especially amongst the youth, over 90% of it directed to the Black Panther Party. When they approached certain forces, they tried the infamous uh, letters, they sent the, uh, the, the letters, the brown bag letters, uh, the U.S. letters, to uh, Jeff Ford, uh, not only Chief Malik, and the, the, the Black Panther Party. Chairman Fred acknowledged the contradictions. You know, you know what I'm saying? Don't come in with this kumbaya, we all on the same thing. You setting yourself up disappointment. Correct. You know what I'm saying? In the, it's in a relation, you in a relationship or situation. People, I tell people what they want to hear. I say, I did, on 85 South, I talk about, I can't go to the pet store. They tell you ain't no more pit bulls here. You say, man, all right, well, give, give me what you got. I just, I, I, you get a goldfish. You throw the leash on them. You bring them home. Now that's why I break your house to me. Man, they both, he's a sellout, man. He, let you, he ain't barking nothing. This is not a pit bull. Not that people tell you what they are. You know what I'm saying? Oh, locked up a certain deter. You hear some guy's name, he come in. Dude say, man, what I think dude, what's, what's his name? I think he on some other stuff. Did you hear his name? You, not that people tell you, that you hear what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. so we need that structure. It's, we are impacted by certain, the, the different, Dynamics in Chicago. You like when you talk about it's a it's, a, it's such a structure. You can tell like, even you, you say, okay, man, what year they come here? Don't care. It's gangster disciples, growth and development. You know what I'm saying? The stones. What what year? What era they come from? You know, and it's not a a, 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 a a putting the onus or responsibility on the individual. You take into account weather conditions. Oh, this impacts everything. You know, That's the history. That's right. the history, and mm -hmm. also the, the conditions. You talk about food. Yeah. You talk food. You say, okay, where they come from? That's Viet. They come from Vietnam. Who was colonizing Vietnam? That the, or the French? Oh, that's North Vietnam or South Vietnam. See, see, other communities they acknowledge those contradictions. Uh, 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 in, in Korea, Kim Il Song made it clear to the U.S. He said, "Oh, the South Koreans are really are, are rolling with you. That's not here." Wow. In Vietnam, Uncle Ho Chi Minh, G Up, they made it clear. No, North Vietnam, we want independence. So the discussion about the Tet Offensive, other dynamics start going down, made it clear. You can't, we can't, we can't come with this elementary assessment. Oh, this, this one of the Jones, this, we all, the, the, the family, we all, we all together. Chairman Fred had two siblings, the older brother and the older sister. As children, they were different. Love them all. At school across the street. Ch Fred, not Chairman Fred, he wasn't even in school yet. Okay. The white boys had beat up his older brother. Fred took a wagon full of bottles over to the school and got down with him. As a child. Wow. 12 years old, man. 12 years old. L the lady was in school, she told me this. 12 years old, this cat, man, wasn't no swimming pool facilities, and we're still fighting about that right now to this day. They got a pool, and ain't nothing here, you know, it's not open. Right now, I'm gonna take y'all by there, show you that. He goes, he see, he see in Melrose Park, white children over there swimming. He ain't going to do that. He's at 12 years old, he said, this is a contradiction. He, he go get the students, the lady tell me, she said, yo, she said, he took these sticks and cardboard. I said, what? She said, you heard me. Branches. Stuck them through cardboard. Go up there and protest for us to have a swimming pool. The police throw tear gas canisters out there. He picked the hot tear gas canister and throw it back at the police. When, it, when, the, when the FBI called for a wiretap on this house, yeah, we, right here. The D.C. Bureau thought it was a typo. This cat can't be no 13, 14 years old, man. When he went to Revival East High School, I can't, I, I forgive me, I keep forgetting this, forget this lady's name. It's, uh, B, Bob Johnson, the former B, CEO of BT. Yeah, 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 Bob Johnson. His ex-wife. Okay. She had technically won the homecoming queen at the high school. Okay. White the administration says, ain't having it here. The white girl from the get that. He challenged that. They was in high school with him. Younger than, he challenged that. They said, okay, we're gonna give you a concession. Both of them get the, both of them get the homecoming point. This is a, this before he was this before he was in the Black Panther Party. They studied him. They, man, they could they listen, man, we got some man, they 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 do this to our people. They 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 know our lineage. They don't need no more poverty to tell whose son is who. They they can pick up on your body language. This is a problem right here. Let me ask you this, and I hate to take you back there, but uh the prison. How because being one that understand prison, when you went to prison, how much did that impact who you are as a person? The time that you got to sit down and study you, yourself. Let me say this about 
I'm, I'm, I don't take for granted that um, one that, I, that I, I'm I, I'm alive. My Correct. sanity. That's right. In fact, Minister UEP Newton said that um, if it was not for the support of the people, I would have come out of there in the pine box. If come out of there at all. That's right. Because prison is designed not for rehabilitation to break. The, men, the will and the spirit of men, women, and children. That's correct. I still have a love for the people, and I see, and I, I, I see certain. I'm, I'm starting to. I, 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 I don't want to become bitter to the point. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a major ingredient as a revolutionary: a love for the people. Correct. And I, I catch myself now because you know, just not just for health. Lady, lady was checking my mother's blood pressure the other day. I said, check man. I felt uh, we did a, a phenomenal peace march the, the few days before that, and it was off the hook. You, man, you had all man, you used to have some real sons of guns, sons of doors. I mean, man, every name you think of, man, they, they children was right there with us march. We got another one coming up in a minute, and my chest was tight. And I said, she said, who? She took my blood. She said, who? She said, Shh. It's high. she said, you need this. She said, man. She, she said, oh yeah, he needed, he needed, you know. So I'm trying to pick my moves. But I don't want to ever become. I say I be worried. Is the breaking like the love, the love for the people? You know what I'm saying? Cause I love our people, but this is a hell of a job, man. No, I get it. It's a hell of a so job. So how, how was this this prison, prison state prison, and how it impacted you it, as a person? It, I met the best. I met man. I, man, I met the. Uh, I, as a, I met the best of the best. Uh, the, 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 the raw, uh, the raw reality. Like you know, Malcolm Malcolm X said, "America itself is a prison." Minister UEP News said, "Prison is a microcosm an outside community." I studied the. I studied myself. I, the hunger strikes, all of that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you can see. You, it takes you a long, uh, like six months to see on the streets. You can see in, in six days. I, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the being transferred, the conditions, all that. You know, um, patience, patience. Patience. I, I, you definitely learn patience, right? Oh, yeah, you and do, you yeah, definitely yeah, learn yeah. faith, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, listen, hey. <laughs> faith and patience. You hear me a lot. I always give a scientific analysis on that. You know what I'm saying? I be say, um, one, one, brother, one brother introduced me one time. He say, oh, well, the champ, I don't think he believes in uh, God. And I, I said, you got me confused, Jack. <laughs> I said, did this here, man. I be, it's times I'll be, be on the battlefield praying. You know what I'm saying? And it's things that I'm here. That I that you really can't. I, I, I mean, I kid, man, kiss the casket, tango with torch, and dance with death. Yeah. My, when I was a minor, I I just knew I wasn't coming up out of there. I, I'm, I tell them people on visit, like, man, I'm not, man, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm not coming up out of here alive. They, I mean, man, they got my pitching chairman gun, pitching the gun tower right now to this day. They got you get six months added to your sentence in Stateville, August 1998. They shot at me through the gun tower. A guard named Voigt. A man come on prisoner pushed me out the way, caught the buckshots in his collarbone. When nah, they put a guy in the cell with me, mentally ill. The, the plan was to have me took out. Big Muddy River. We call it Big Bloody River. They brought me what we call a Harold Washington trade. Poison food trade. Oh, you man, they, oh man, hey. Countless of times, man. Yeah. Wow. Riots? Oh, yeah, man, yeah. We, uh, uprisings and get downs and I mean, you know, um, uh infamous uh State Via I House segregation beatings. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Jackie Wilson. Check, man, uh, Jackie, Andrew Wilson, the, uh, Jackie, and they killed Andrew Wilson in the joint. Okay. But the Wilson brothers was subject to the, the largest, one of the largest manhood hunts in Chicago history. Mayor Jane Byrne put a $10,000 hit on their head. Uh, Lieutenant John Burge, um, who was a homegrown terrorist, who was trained in Fort Benning, Georgia. He had the uh, black box. We had electric shock you on your sex organs. Mm. They, had, they caught them and threw them out of the window downtown. Uh, Jackie Wilson was locked up with us, man. Um, uh, they man, he's, he's just just a recent release, man. Yeah. I'm matter of fact, I'm gonna connect y'all with him, man. This man, I'm just I'm, I ain't seen him, I ain't since he been out. He it was times we uh, I'm, 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 I, I, I guess I'm at liberty, liberty to talk about this man. We um, our house was no, the notorious beatings in Stateville. They, I mean, he was and a lieutenant uh, Luther Manning. They, they had a whole crew, and uh, this is my first time in the Max. They took me out of Shawnee. The medium and sent me to the max, and uh, it was March 10th. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, uh, that's uh, the day Harry Tubman was born. It was the same year Biggie Smalls had um got murdered. Cause I remember hearing on the TV and they were shipping me out on March 10th. And uh, I come to Stateville, come through there the gallery. You know what I'm saying? I remember the rats, the roaches, all that going through, they running through the gallery. So the guard, you like man. Um, what say y'all gonna go in? It's about seven, eight, like like this, like this, like the old image you see on the uh, chain game. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so guys, they hollering through the chuck hole. Ain't nobody coming up in here. You know what I'm saying? You, anybody you put it on, I'm raping them. You know, like, 
So, uh, so the guards, who said you want to go? I said, listen, man, you put me in. I said, you going to put me in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no fugitive. I ain't on the run. Whatever you want. So he said, well, we're going to see. So he said, oh, oh, it's the chairman. So everybody, man, man, come on. Come in this cell. Come in this cell. So he ended up down and said, another brother down the way. And man, we, uh, so everybody like, chairman, man, hey, man, when you going to shut the joint down, man? You know, uh, we know how you get out. I said, hold on. Be cool. Be cool. So the guy sent me kites, letters. Don't talk to this guy. This guy is, is a stool pigeon. This guy. So I finally came to the door and said, listen, man, I can't see nobody. This, you might be the warden. I don't know who this is behind the, uh, that door. Give me a minute. We're going to go fishing. But let me see what I'm working with. Guppies, sharks, piranhas. Give me a minute. We're going to go fishing. Let me assess what we're dealing with. Man, we end up um, in a hunger strike, man. I had struggled with Jackie Wilson because the thing was three days. He went on so long, he was, I said, I said, Sam Russell, man, Tim, come up off the hunger strike. He said, Chairman, he said he don't want to come up because he ain't never been involved in nothing like this. He said, man, I said, it's still showing disunity, you know what I'm saying, structure. And man, they had us in a situation one time, they, they rounded us all up in what they call a bullpen. So we all, they, so we all in the bullpen, so they would lock you all up in there. They, they finish and they crew and then they get out on you. Man, you, you everybody handcuffed. Um, so, Somebody knew how to help ease the, the uh, cuffs off, you know what I'm saying? So, so the guys, they coming back. And so my first time in there, so, you know, so I'm sitting there, so they, tell, they show me, so the braces fall off of, of my wrist. <laughs> so I'm ready on the guards coming. They like, chairman, chairman, you gotta put your hands back behind your back, they don't, they think we still have <laughs> 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 and, I, and I had, I had to, um, and I, you know, I, I, mean, I, was, I was in the Supermax. And I remember all the guys they brought down there. Uh, Brisbane, this is this, this who they changed the thing about the, uh, they give you a, a date set for your execution, they gotta move on it. Cause they would get this guy, they get this guy a date to be executed. He would catch another case on the guard. Yeah, yeah. And he get a continuous. Correct. So they had make up, they had make up a law, say listen, you get your death date, get out. And this is my first time seeing this cat. This, was, this cat was a legend, like guard, you say his name around guard, they had shape. Uh, they know what guy the bridge, yeah, yeah. So I'm down in the suit, Max. I see him about this tall, big glasses. I said, "That's him." So, the, you know, what I'm saying these, you know, I, I, I've been fortunate and unfortunate to have my name even listed. You know, what I'm saying with the Leonard Peltier, the Mumia Abu Jamal's, and Sunday out of Colorado, and all. You know, so I can't forget. You know, what I'm saying um, those who you know said still here, Catholic, free them all. How how much input did y'all have in the movie? The um, Judas is back Messiah. I got a book. I, I should have brought to put this book out. Some some pictures from the set. We had um we were the me and my me and my mother were the political and cultural consultants. Now with that okay. now that was a lot of battle for that too. Mind you, that was attempts to do movies on Chairman Fred before. In fact, Forrest Whitaker was talking about doing one before, and some guys told him, "Say man, that man's son on play." So you went for green and grass. They did the, the, the butler, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because you got to take into account what the history of Hollywood is. They, you know what I'm saying? You you supposed to be happy that somebody didn't mention you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You get your bag. You might get your bag of popcorn. You come watch the show. That's it. And why didn't you play your father in the movie? Hmm. One 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 of our guys come on telling saying that too. Won't you play? Won't you play the chairman? You know? Right. I I I. You want the the, the, the movie? The screen is so powerful. I remember, I remember this. I remember sitting right there. Ryan Coogler sitting right here. His wife Zinzi right here. Charles King, Shaka King, uh, right here. And I remember uh, talking about on oh, down on Dominique Fishback and Daniel Kaluuya right there. Hmm. And I remember some of the struggles we had about the movie. I said, "Now you know this is so powerful, such a powerful phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cast arguing saying that." They first time, this got to be his daddy. Daniel Kalu, we got this missed the fact that I, I, I mean, I'm older than him. But that Hollywood, that's you know, so I'm a, a concern would be if I do that, am I an actor or an active, you know, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, you know, or, 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 or a freedom fighter, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you be because that because people first that, that it's a it's a whole politics to Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? People see people will quote that as opposed to quoting anything, or they see the, you put on the, the, the news said it, the movie said it. So just like in the, the rappers. 
when yeah. they say things and they'll take yeah. that and they yeah. take that so you'll be real key on saying so yeah I get what some you're people their first time seeing me being an actor they're like oh yeah you know yeah, I'm out here for real the police get, they get down they beat me for real yeah. they're like yeah. oh yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great that's a great performance isn't it? he's getting awesome no this ain't yeah, really, this is real this, this, this is real <laughs> so you have to, to be able to distinguish that you know that's one thing and to be Man, we we called man. We got the word. They told me we said, "Wait, hold on. We gotta meet these people." To my plan, Chairman Fred and uh, Deborah Johnson in particular. Yeah, yeah. We had we had eight hour meetings right here. To sit down, ten struggles. Wow. We literally said, "Man, Google the worst neighborhood in Chicago." And they, you know, so they Google it. Man, eleven people just got murdered on Madison and Kila. So let's go. We said, "Man, you can't do that." The, the studio don't go. Man, you could lose your Dominique Fishback, man. Shh. Charles King, we we were right there, three in the morning. Mm. And he's man the respect the study you know people say oh man how you gonna play Tim Frieden he from you know he not from the states and blah blah to this day the ongoing respect and relation that we still have you know what I'm saying and we got a lot of struggles believe me I still jump up at night time cut <laughs> stop stop I'm, 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 I'm a lot of struggles so you were there at, for every moment they were just close recording to, we want we want. The first time, the first three, three days, we weren't even on board with it. You know what I'm saying? We, we, it, was, it, was, it was intense. Okay. We had to, we had, we, go back and Google some of the first titles they had for the movie. Yeah, Google it. I mean, we had a lot of battles. That's why it went for a long time. It was called Untitled. Mm. That's why it went for a long time. It was an Untitled project. Because the name, because even before I started watching it and I heard the name, I'm like, I was trying to, you know how you're trying to figure out the movie yeah. just by the name? Yeah. And I'm like, Judas the Black Messiah. I'm like, why would they go with that name? But after watching the movie, I can see. Yeah, yeah. That was a genius yeah. name. Yeah, oh, they, man, I, we were fortunate we have a dream team before some time. It was, even even when our battles, you know what I'm saying? There were times when create, create, creativity, clash of political, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things you can't, you know, like I was, But the only thing I was thinking of, the only thing I was looking for in the movie, because of the name, I was looking for Bill O'Neill to actually kill himself like Judas did. Well, they, they, they um, like hang himself or something, you know, like yeah. because that's well, they what Judas did. Well, at the did. end, they said he uh, did he killed himself. That we just we, we struggled with that. I that's that something now. that I, we wanted to talk about too. I, mm -hmm. I just thought about that's a good subject because this thing uh, when he came into play and and just the way that he was doing everything that he was doing. When he afterwards, it was some things on TV where it showed him come in on different things about uh, chairman. Um, what do you? How do you feel about this guy and everything that you know? Of course, we know he wasn't right for what he done, but how do you feel about him when you see the the the? Because there's just really there there's really just a it's a foggy place when you think about what really happened to him because you know you don't know if he did kill himself did somebody kill him mm -hmm. uh, you know what was the deal and I need to add another uh, mm -hmm. section to that question mm -hmm. um, because looking at the comments after the film it said that he even remained in the Black Panther Party after Chairman Fred um, was assassinated and stuff like that. How comes nobody knew that he was the one? I tell you, play, like, you know, like now, like, cause we playing Monday morning quarterback. They be like, "Oh, I knew this, I knew that," you know what I'm saying? And you got like, in, in, in engaged in the struggle, you know, um, when it's going down. And also, we won. We opposition that we took even with the movie was hashtag William O'Neill was not the only one. Mm -hmm. See. You this this I mean the coin tail pro and also like I I know it was eerie a lot of times the, with the film it was it was correlating the filming on the, on the set it was stuff we was going through exactly I'm talking about like literally Asian Movaka tools infiltration it was to the point I was like whoa this is like this is, man I'm talking about, it was some scenes that was in the movie that we were going through some of the same dynamics and I remember asking one of the comrades in the Panther part I said give me the atmosphere like that you know when O'Neill was around. And, it, and it, it, it was, I remember, I recall one time we was heavily, in, one of the times we were heavily infiltrated. Cause we've been, and you can Google all the man. They just said about us, every man, psh, pants, skirts, psh, red, blue, tall, Anybody, short. You can they, never they, know. Who. They, and a lot of cats, cats don't even. This don't get about the, you know what I'm saying? They have a psychological profile, and, and they, and they, and like, a lot of cats be liberal. Like, it just don't be the individual, like a, it's like the, 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 like a disease that, the support, the dynamics. You say, hold on, man, now, you, you, okay, your kidneys are weak. This, this also makes it bad, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a, just the disease, so that's the informative in here. So you got forces who are already liberal, they're already wishy washy anyway. They, they, not, they go whichever, the wind blows, and that's a problem, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, and then also stuff that may be dormant in other people, they tap into it and they heighten it. 
So, but chairman, chairman, all through, chairman relates to democratic centralism, the, the structure of the party. He, that's why if you look at the movie, we made it very clear. He was never chairman for his security. Uh, you know, that was a, that, that's that's the incorrect narrative that was trying to be you know, pushed out by bogus, unauthorized books and everything that okay. people were saying. He was never chairman for his security. Mm -hmm. And I, and see that people and I people don't understand how. So what part did he play? In, in, uh, in, the, in the party. In, yes, in the party. He was he was he, he played so he was on security detail. Okay, but he on okay. the defense cadre, but he was never. And see that that's that, that's that's why I was pulling back to, back to the structure dynamics. You go back and say, oh. Like it's a coalition of forces I work with in Chicago, and different groups I work with, and they had this thing, the, the, the city, the state had this thing called the, the Turning Your Gun program. Mm -hmm. We wasn't with it, but I couldn't struggle with people's emotions. People were like, man, the violence is so bad. We need to do something. Turn the guns. And other castles with it. That's their thing. Then when it came down, they said, wait a minute, Chairman, you never did support. That. I said, yeah. But I couldn't debate, you know what I'm saying? But the structure was able to distinguish that wasn't the party, uh, the, the, uh, that wasn't opposition. Because we relate to a minister U.E.P. News said, and unarmed people were subject to slavery at any given time. But so you got, so a certain coalition, you can work with certain people in, in, in an organization. Structure, checks and balances. That's why like when the police do something, they're making a point. Off duty police. You feel what I'm saying? You know, you know they make, they, they distinguish that. You know, this is traffic cop. You know, our people don't even think we're worthy of a structure. Like you can look at a movie like, um, um, uh, Blue Bloods with Tom Selleck and, you know, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying mm -hmm. and they do a certain dynamic that it does not even negate like you can have a man and woman police together and you the thought in your mind never comes up about oh they, they, they must be in a relationship with each other you follow what I'm saying our people came and see us you know what I'm saying in a, no dynamic of structure you know what I'm saying it's not it don't even come up about Tom Selleck's sexuality you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying because mm -hmm. the deal is the agenda so you have an organization it shouldn't be come up like I tell people uh, on, 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 on security detail a person shouldn't even leave here trying to know if you're a Capricorn or Virgo. You follow what I'm saying? This you have a job to do. You know what I'm saying? So people, I I didn't have to go on moves and speak places where I've been assigned my security detail. People who I don't even like personally. Our organization, it's some individuals that they, they done put around me who, I just, if we was free, I won't even know them. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and that's how we have to look at uh, 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 structure, look at struggle. You know what I'm saying? So Chairman, the, Chairman Fred, he was made it very clear. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that there was not a security, and the, 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 uh, there was an incorrect narrative to put that out. But the movie, you can look at it and see. Oh no! Can I tell you? Look at old footage of Chairman Fred. You don't see, dude. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't see, you don't see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But there was a, and that's what, it opened the door for a lot of the white left and uh, revisionists to come through. Oh yeah, you know, cause they gotta find a flaw in it. Well man, he didn't know he trusted this guy. No, and they can't steal this. It's structure, even if it's you had certain people with a role that you don't even dig personally, you know what I'm saying? And certain decisions that you say, this is what I want, but if you outvoted, you, 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 you respect that. But there was a structure in the party. But again, you go back and look through, throughout the actual footage. That's why, like, even doing the, the propaganda, we fought for certain things, like no pictures of just him and Chairman Fred together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's the, that's the narrative that a lot of people want to put out. You know, mm -hmm. since the, the, they was buddies and blah blah. Other other communities can can actually see an organization, a structure. Like even initially, I was against the fictional character, um, Judy Palmer. How many thought I was against that? You know, because that, that character being being in there uh, because. Or some other dynamics of other organizations that they had that we had to change. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No, it wouldn't be right. And I'm glad she stayed in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Nodge and the sister uh, and others, they, you know, Charles King, they, they're like, no, we got to, we, you know, we had some good struggles right at this table. That served a purpose. I wish this table could tell stories. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, man. Man, 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 man. And the struggles it showed, I seen it like with Chairman. You know, we, we, we relate to our, our present day comrades, mm -hmm. the Cubs. Y'all met uh, Comrade Cool earlier. For people to see an organization of people work together, you know what I'm saying? That or the common agenda, you know what I'm saying? Not just always subjective. Like, oh, who is that? You know what I'm saying? We go into this trivial, this person with this person, so on and so forth. Start looking at our struggles scientifically. You know what I'm saying? And that's hard for a lot of people to relate to. But it was a lot of. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, 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 like even the term, like O'Neill, like even Chairman, you go back to Chairman reference him as O'Neill. Like first it was A. Fred, A. Bill. We had to struggle for that. The chairman, you know what I'm saying? This is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Minister of Health. 
This puts stuff in official capacity. Checks, you know what I'm saying? You come in, you know, when the state entity comes in, they have a roll call. Hello, sir, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you, this, is the, this is the president. It's not, hey man, you my homie, me and you cool? Mm-hmm. That's how we have to start looking at. That's what I like about the organization. Like, organization. It's like that we have, it have, it's very organized. Organized structure. and structured, checks and balances. Right. It's something bigger than you. That scene when they walked up in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the crowns. Mm-hmm. You, your, per, you, it was, it, it showed a, a phenomenon. Exactly. It showed how a lot of these young cats ain't never seen an organized group. You, they see cats get on stage, do, do what you want to do, drink what you want to drink. You, you, you see a girl, you're like, come on, just go get her. Mm-hmm. They ain't never seen no temptations. You know what I'm saying? Move, man, you move. You, 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 you structure, checks and balance. Ghetto boys. You know what I'm saying? Even those struggles within the ghetto boys. You right. know what I'm saying? It was a structure, checks and balances. People, you people need to have to see that to say, man, listen, man. This family reunion, how I feel about cousins such and such, you know what I'm saying? The Jones and Smith, they, that's, that impacts how they see us as a family. You know what I'm saying? The Black Panther Party, they went internal struggles and contradiction. You know, it, was a, it was a structure, check it yeah, Central Committee, Field Marshal, Field Marshal George Jackson, Minister UEP New It was a, you know what I'm saying? It was that checks and balances to recognize it's something that's bigger than you. Man. Is the, is the um, free clinic that Chairman um, Fred Came up with, is that still around? The Free Medical Center um, right. that uh, that was uh, inter, that was inter, inter, became to be international. In fact, in Vietnam, we still talk about Deputy Minister of Health Doc. Doc Satcher was right. that's my godfather. He's, we lost him about seven years ago. Chairman Fred was said, "If you sick, don't go down no cookie. Don't." This one of the speeches he made in July of '69 or '68. I forget. Chairman Fred said, "Don't go down to Cook County uh, uh, Hospital." You go out there with a common cold, you come up dead, just so happens exactly. somebody else needs your sex organs, your brain tissue. Come on now, see Dr. Feel Good. Doc Satchu heard Chairman Fred speak on the college campus. He left college, he left that day. Um, Signed up to the Black Panther uh-huh. Party, man. He this this care was phenomenal, man. So he, whatever happened to it? The uh, the medical the medical, medical center, center. A lot of the, a lot some, some a lot of the programs. You know what I'm saying? The state either came in and out funded and uh, you know uh, 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 co opted and took it and you know, you know what I'm saying? Took some certain characteristics of it, you know what I'm saying, and watered it down. Uh, but the, 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 the spirit of the party still lives on, but a lot of the programs, okay. you know, we you know saying that that subsided, you know what I'm saying, so with the Black Panther Party Club, we, 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 we in the process, it's a tough act to follow, but we in the process of trying to, you know, trying to bring it hold it, you no know, doubt about it, no doubt about it. We have the Free Them All Radio, wondering. we have the Triple C program, we working on a lot of them different programs. Okay. But, man, I want to say thank you for letting us come in and interview you here today. Um, y'all see, we'll be, we be all yeah. day, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Um, we had something we wanted to present to you. Um, we uh, we don't come empty handed. We know that, that you know, at some point, right. you know, we got to make sure that we uh, bless and give roses while while you're here. I'm going to let yeah. you open it because she always do that part. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we had to bring something to show our, our appreciation, appreciation for what you guys contribute to our culture. Well... We appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? This outlet and what y'all do. Right Man, on. Boss Talk 101. We, we, in, the we build, in the building. It came okay. to Chicago. I'm coming to Dallas. I'm going to Dallas. So um, we here at Boss Talk 101 would love to present you, your family, with, the, with this plaque. And it says, presented to Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. In recognition for the sacrifices your family has made for our people and community. President and Chairman of the POC and the Black Panther Cubs, 2022. Respect, revolutionary appreciation. Thank you, sister. You're Thank welcome. you, brother. Thank Boss Talk 101, man. Right on. I'm honored. I'm honored. Real talking. I'm honored, y'all here, and I look forward to touching down in Dallas, man. Man, yeah, right on. Again, this a in the spirit of making history, taking history, and taping history, y'all. Let's uh, remain and be vigilant, innovative. You know what I'm saying? Because the Minister UEP News said our people don't read as much as we would like for them to read. So we got to get this out through the social media, grapevine, you name it. Again, I'm on it. Man. Know. Well, thank you so much, man. Hey, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Well, the boss is talking. Hey, man, we love you, man. Hey, love y'all right black. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, that. Yeah, man. Yes, thank indeed. you. Yes, All right. indeed. We out.